coming from the rack store With this back in the Mac in the back flow Let's go, chillin' with raccoons by the back door Take all so you can stake more All I wanna do is making dough, right? But I found this crew and doing alright We wreck, will bitch, ready to fight So many raccoons ready for the boss life I might fly high like a kite, right? But always ready for a shite for the right price Raccoon supply has the right price Giving you respect if it's likewise So I'm buying all the mean guys with the clean heart Read between lies, laser bean through lean eyes Slurry or with clean lies, trash mouth mean smile Be wise, NFT wise, fuck with these guys It's the rack lab from the back lab Hundred NFTs in my backpack Crazy rack lab from the stash app Black will take a lead in this haystack Good morning Rack FM Today is Friday, the 9th of June, 2023, and this is your favorite crypto dog show, the Dog and Pony Hour, the Dog and Pony Show. You're going to hear from Robo, you're going to hear from Signal, Bands, and I think even Rarma stops by. Robo, over to you, and don't fuck this up. Right, dude, come on, quickly, give us the dog story. What's the, what's the crack? Come on, what's happened? Me? With... Yeah, what were you, you said wild dog at first, and then you went, oh, no, the dogs are not wild. The story's wild or something. What, what's going on, like? Oh, no, I mean, okay, <laughs> it's not actually a big story. Um, but you'll get it as, like, a, a, a dog person. Um, so my mother... Bred these dogs, border collies, purebred border collies, like beautiful. Like these are hunting class, uh, uh, like agility class, the kind of things you put in in any kind of like tournament, kind of like they're they're very very nice quality. Um, and then sold to unfortunately to this this family that the person that said they're buying them, it wasn't actually that person. It was like their sibling. It was like, okay, I'm buying them. And then they actually like, turns out that they're giving the dogs to their sister or whatever. But I ended up getting both back because these people can't take care of these dogs. Um, and first it was one. So it says that they messaged me in January. They'd had the dogs at that point about six months from puppy to six months. So, okay, lovely. They got puppies. And then the puppies became dogs, right? And then they messaged me. I, we're, we're we're very um, responsible about this kind of stuff, so we're like keeping close contact with anyone who bought dogs from from her, right? Um, and then they, uh, at that point, they were like, "Yeah, we need to give them both back." I said, "Okay, fine. I'll take them back." And then they kind of wish washed. They gave me one out of two. <laughs> and then like a month later, they were like, oh, we want to give you the other one. I was like, sure, just give them both back. Like, we'll take them. We're going to make sure that they have a forever home kind of thing. Um, and we're also from that point, like very concerned, right? You're like worried that, okay, fuck. We accidentally sent dogs to a home where there's these people that are not great owners or I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know what it's like in their house, but you know what I mean? Um, I would have done the same thing in your position. It, though. It, you know what I mean though? And then, so I have one of two, right? And then, so they, so they say, okay, we'll give you, the, we're going to give you the other one next month. And then they don't. And then another, and the next month they say, we want to give you the other one again. And I say, okay, sure. Um, and then nothing, no message from them. And then they, they messaged me uh, last month, just like recently. And they say, oh, we want to give you the other one. We're, we're 100% sure. We can't take good care of it. And by, oh, sorry, and by the way, as background, when I got the first one back from them, this was a dog that was about yeah seven months old. It was not well socialized. It was not like leash trained. Like I, I took it out. Like I'm, I'm very serious about the stuff. Yeah, I'm walking around the neighborhood and it was like, you know, having a lot of troubles. It's, it's, he has like recovered a bunch since, or he's a very good dog now, but it was like shit when I first got him. 
right? So I'm worried this whole fucking time about the second dog. I'm like, fuck, they have the second dog that they're not um, taking good care of, right? And then, so then they finally give it to me this month. They messaged me on Saturday out of the blue. And I've been messaging them for a while saying like, please give me a timeline. If you want to give up this dog, just give me a timeline. Messaged me on Saturday night at 9 p.m. saying, we're bringing the dog over tomorrow. Sunday morning. So I say, okay, absolutely. Bring it over. And then they just don't show up. <laughs> and then, so I message them like in the afternoon, I'm like, where are you guys? I'm like, oh yeah, sorry. We're like, not sure if we're going to bring it by. I was like, just please bring the dog. So they bring it over. Uh, so now I have it. And he's a beautiful dog. He's not well socialized. It's like very clear that he has a lot of social uh, social issues, like with strangers and with being on leash. They didn't like walk them on leash and stuff like shit like that. But then they messaged me today. This is the, the this whole fucking story, stupid story is building up to this. And then they messaged me today at noon and say, "Hey, we want to come and pick up the dogs and take them back." And I was like, okay, like, listen, guys. Did, like, did you tell him to I, fuck right off? Did you? Did you say like literally fuck right off? Because that's what I would have said to them. Well, that's what that's what that's what I'm trying to mediate between. I, I'm the middleman a little bit here because my mother would tell them to go fucking kill themselves. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but I'm like, I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm trying. I so I was like, okay, I understand. Like, maybe you should wait a little bit with your decision making. So let's talk next week give me a call this kind of shit uh, but obviously i don't fucking want to give the dogs back to them but i also don't want to like necessarily take someone's dog you you, you get what i'm talking well, about though this, this, well, this stuff is like it's tough man i don't know well i, I do i do want to welcome babe on but very quickly i'm going to say this to your signal and you maybe can give me your reasoning i'm very surprised you walked out of there in the first place with only one because I think I'd have been like, nah, fuck that. You're not giving one back and like leaving the other. I'm taking the two of them. I, like, I'm just that kind of guy where I'd have like, fuck it, come on. Well, I, I, I wasn't fully aware of the situation and it wasn't me going to their place. It was them coming and dropping one off at my house, right? I don't even know where these people live, right? And that's when my mom sold them to them. I'm like uh, the intermediary here, right? So that's why my decision making was like that. Right. Okay. I get that. You need to be careful. Okay. It's not like it was you. It's you know, like it's, called, it's sort of indirectly linked. I get that. But uh, oh, I hear people who didn't look after the dogs. Oh, you should look after me. your dogs more than yourself, you know? And, and you know me, I'm like a kind of slow mover on stuff, or I'm like careful. Um, yeah. Oh, that, that dog stuff kills me, man. But, but right now, I got these two beautiful, if anybody here needs a border collie. <laughs> these two gorgeous border collies uh, that, that I'm taking care of. Hey, Bay Bands. Good morning. Hey. Oh my God. What a terrible. How, how, how? What a terrible thing to do to give your dogs away and then call the next day and say that they want them back. The fuck? Like I don't. I don't even. Right. Like I just don't even understand. Like it, it would be hard enough. Like my dogs drive me insane but it would drive me like it would be hard enough to like give them away like that would be like a huge decision that i would really really have to have thought through and then and then you give it to somebody a person gets uh, like attached and starts having this dog and then you tell them they have to to you what the fuck i'm sorry this is just no no, no bueno it's not good for me exactly yeah thank you be friends yeah it's like i don't know and and so it's like they're they're bred uh, my mother owns the uh, the bitch. Sorry to use those words. That's fine. She's a bitch. But she right. So <laughs> so so it's like uh, it, at least where I live in the province, we like legally have responsibility for you know what I mean for like the dog for the rest of his life. So it's like this. We're also like I don't, and also like from a fucking. Uh, I don't know, moral perspective. We're just like very concerned about them. So it's like so stressful. You, you, you I don't know, you give, you, you, I don't know, you sell a puppy to the wrong person and then you just feel sick for so long. Correct. And that's kind of like, uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really tough. Uh, my mom like made the sale with people. I'm like managing this whole thing. This doesn't matter to anyone other than me, but 
I got the dogs now, but this is like my shit. I, I, this is what I was saying to. I want to talk to you about this privately, Robo. Because you know, dogs, right? I've got so. several. I've got several dog breed friends back home. Like it's quite a common thing in England, man. England's just a dog country, but uh, they have like sort of like uh, you know backyard breeders before, and like there's that to be you know interventions and cops called and all sorts of stuff. Like mate, I mean, when it comes to like looking after animals, you got to remember my mum was like a magistrate for twenty six years, right? She actually sat on like the the worst case of uh, animal cruelty ever recorded in the UK, because in a, in a, animal cruelty you can't go higher than a magistrate court. It's really weird. You don't go to Crown Court for it, right? And uh, it happened to be fucking my mum was like the head of the bench, and uh, there's a newspaper in England called the Sun. She was basically on the front page of the Sun, right? And obviously not named because they don't name it, right? They just like gave her age and like called her, like the 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 chair, the chair magistrate, right? The chair of the bench. Basically, she ran out of the fucking, like, courtroom fucking crying. Like, like literally burst in hysterics of, like, bro, man, you've got to be taking care of fucking animals, man. I'm sorry, like... I mean, you got to you got to be taking care of people in general, but, like, fucking animals, man, they kind of look after themselves as a thing. They're like kids, aren't they? Like babies, right? Yeah, there's, like... I don't know. There are people who have what I feel is the right perspective where you're just like making this, the decision based off the animal. Like you're just looking at their life and say, okay, I, you know, I'm the, you know, people say like forever home or whatever, or otherwise, even if you're not just making the decision based on what is in the best interest of the animal. And then there's this other, like kind of small group of people that, I don't know. They don't. They just don't see it like that, which is is tough to deal with. Anyway, so dude, but, I feel you. I'm sorry, failure. I'm failure. Show you the picture of these dogs. These these are f- the most gorgeous dogs you'll ever see in your life. And they're beautiful. They're like the personalities are incredible. You know, they're they're just like on top of you on the couch, like the sweetest animals in the world. And uh, anyway, I'm failing you, bro. I fucking basically fucking got divorced to end up fucking keeping Winston in the end, man. I mean, pretty much like, like before Winston, there was like relative like calm and peace in the house and pretty much everything was all right. And the four, four dogs that we had kind of got along. And then Winston came and fucking changed everything. Like, like literally my marriage went downhill the minute. Like I said, Winston's going nowhere kind of thing. And that's the fucking truth. Never mind. Uh, B-Bans. Hello, B-Bans. Have you been off-ramping through Binance US at all or not? Did you see Binance's letter today? Everybody get your money out quickly out of the US. The normal Binance. No, I didn't, see, I, I didn't see their, um, I didn't see that. Nine hours ago, Binance published a letter. Uh, the rhetoric is fantastic because they repeat aggressive tactics several times. The, the, basically, the banks, the banking partners are rugging Binance US. So the minute this has happened, Gensler's got his banking friends to pull the rug. So like off ramping, you need to find other places to off ramp. Uh, the saying, if it's not out by the fifteenth, that it'll all be converted to like a uh, stable coins, your USD. However, they reckon that the bank and support uh, might be kaput, like literally kaput by the thirteenth. So Binance US is going to a crypto only exchange. You'll be able to like literally on chain. Uh, withdrawn deposit, uh, but it will be a 100% crypto only exchange. Everything else will be the same, the staking and blah, 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 everything, right, that they've got going on, collateral, whatever. But that is like the main kind of like uh, sort of thing that's happened. And I think today that was the big news. And you know what? Uh, this is, I'm going to say this on record and I, I might be wrong. I think this is one of the greatest moments in crypto history. This, this is going to galvanize the fucking industry like we've never seen before prepare for a fucking long and dirty fight over this like it's amazing i'm really bullish right now like i think now is the best time to accumulate that you're probably you're gonna get in ahead of like the bull market in 2025 yeah that's just what i think like i i mean i literally was in the dispensary yesterday and um the the bud tender was like hey bands because he like follows me on twitter he's like um, I, you know, he wanted to like talk about ledgers and 
I was like, oh my goodness. And and then I was like really excited. And then um he sent me a voice note trying to, he's like trying to figure out how like about onboarding onto like fiat into crypto and stuff. And I'm like, okay. Um and we just kind of talked for a little bit. So did you tell him K no huh? Did you tell him Kado money? Did you not tell him Kado no? Well, I, I forgot to um I said I, I can I can send him a DM and, and let him know that, but I, I gave him some options of how he could onboard money, but um I DM dudes all the time, babe. And they you know, answer me back. They be fighting my <laughs> What's what's Sorry. the biggest issue though? Is it is it on rampant or off rampant? Because it's fucking off rampant that's the issue, really, isn't it? Why is it an issue to off ramp? No, but getting your profits out is like what you want. Getting your profits out. Oh, nice yeah, 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 yeah. I was like talking to him about profit. And he's like, have you heard of Matic? <laughs> I was like, oh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, okay. I was like, well, you know, Matic is down. I mean, it was $1.23 three months ago and it's like 75 cents. He's like, Matic is 75 cents? Uh-oh, I got to get on this. <laughs> It Holy was a cool conversation, like outside of like Web three, like how we usually all chat in here. Lord Jesus, did you? Is that wrong? I'm mm. sorry. Did, did you see Arbitrum this week? Uh, I mean, Bay Bands, you're saying you love chilling over on Arbitrum. Talk to me. What about Arbitrum? The new well, drop. It, I mean, what it we... stopped. It stopped, didn't it? Oh, the the, oh yeah. I mean. It halted, like, but it wasn't in halt for that long. Just halted. It was a little bug. It halted, and they fixed it, right? I mean, doesn't that should happen all the time? It shouldn't do. Well, Solana did it, and they're still doing really good. I mean, they did it like fifteen times, and everybody still loves them. <laughs> no, not funny. No. Okay, I thought it was funny. <laughs> hey, bands. I'm sorry. Yeah, bands. I want to ask. Okay. I remember I asked you in like the the other some other thing like yeah. you if you were in your gelato hat. Yeah. I feel like you're in like 25 teams now. No, I'm only in I'm only on two teams, the gelato team and oh, well, gelato team, hang out with Rack, team Rack FM and the Maki Bomba. That's it. You're not in no. space skellies anymore or no, I stepped down. It was just too much. There was so much going on and stuff like that. I needed to just focus. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I just want, like, I, I can only do, like, I, I honestly feel like, what'd you say? What, you, you, what, the peanut gallery over here is commenting, speaking <laughs> a lot. He's just, I'm going to put, I'm going to put my headphones on. Okay. And I was like, <laughs> um, I'm just, I'm messing with my husband. Sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, I needed to just kind of like, decide what you know what part you know what i want to do in web three like i've only been here three years now you know yeah it, so, I it mean, feels like, do you feel so, like you're like a hot commodity no you know what i mean like headhunted no, kind of thing not, not, at all. not even a little bit i feel like uh, no i feel like um you know the filler like you make a meal right and you have like you got your protein you got your vegetables you got your freaking i don't know fruit as a side and then you got your filler because mama's on a budget. So you put rice, potatoes. I feel like I'm like the rice and the potatoes. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. but uh, a lot of people want to buy rice, though. Yeah, but I, yeah, people love rice. So like, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> if if, keep, if, if, if this was England, you'd be a, you'd be a, you'd be a roast potato. They are like the finest little, most delicate thing that we <laughs> like. Was, you'd be a roast potato. Yeah, with a little rosemary and some olive oil and stuff like that. I'd be just right, Lil. But um, stop, I still stop, stop talking here. dirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, B bands, wait a minute, Gelotto. I, I, very quickly, because I know we've got new speakers. Very quickly, I do want to bring in about Gelotto. So, rare raspberries in me DMs. Uh, and I'm going to be neutral on this. I'm going to be Switzerland. Uh, right. Okay. Rare's been like talking about. It's been it's a fourth collection. It's revenue share, blah blah. Our existing uh, owners being diluted, and he's like looking at ROI, you know, because of how expensive they are, except and he's like, oh, it's between three and eight years ROI, <laughs> blah blah, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna come out and say something here that might be controversial, Bands, and and you know, I'm sorry for speaking my mind, but I'm just gonna say this. I saw the release of the artwork 
and I went, that's not gelato. That's women of cosmos. Like, like, all right, I might have a little like gelato tattoo or something, but like the, 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 the queens that they did, the, the third one, yeah, that like that fit in with like the branding, but this seems to me like it's like, I, I don't know, it seems really weird. Like, I'm, I know I'm not being, I didn't want to say anything bad. I just think it's not a fucking good brand fit at all, that mind yet. Regardless of like what they're costing or the ROI based on the revenues uh, Gelato is generating, yeah. I know the idea is to scale. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I like the collection. I think it's cool. I think that um, adding something different, especially with the woman of Cosmos, and she has like really, really good art. And the fact that they're kind of like, I don't know, doing this like, bondage kind of like sexy like thing and i i like it because it's it's different and it appeals to like a different crowd you know what i mean like not everybody wants a gelato or like a a, a pixelated picture or like ai you know some some people just want like different different things you know what i mean i like my i love all of my um nfts that i've gotten from gelato like i freaking love them um, and I'm, I think I'm gonna, I'm really excited about the Woman of Cosmo one because it's like a partnership, and it allows a different crowd to also see what's going on here. But you know, maybe I'm just being too. Th- so many people are doing collaborations. I, it's just like the next thing to do. I don't know. Maybe I'm, is it, I'm reading. Is it diluting? Uh, right. Okay. Is it has it got a separate revenue stream or not, or is this a combined revenue stream with the other previous like NFTs? Because is it a dilution or not? There is going to be like, you know, um, portions or percentages that they get from the house and stuff like that. Um, but I'm still learning all of the like rules for gelato and like not rules, but like all the things going on and how um, the disbursements happen and, and all that. So that is still all new to me there. Like the gelato chat never stops. It's like going probably 24 hours a day i walk away and there's like a hundred and this is i'm talking about the core team so it's a lot and i'm excited and stuff but i'm still trying to like find my place does that make sense of course yeah i just you know i mean ray is a is a character but he always looks at these things you know and uh, it cropped up in conversation yeah what was um well first First, I just, Rama has a microphone, and I just want to say hi to Rama so hard. Of course, of Rama. course. Rama. Hello. Hey, Ben. How you doing? Oh, so good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm, uh, I'm just you? chilling. I was uh, invited in, so I thought I'd pop up and say hello. Uh, so it I, was me. I did that. It was you? Okay. All right. I, well. Thank you, Bands. I also want oh, to say um, my little heart is like beating so fast right now. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. No, I'm gonna calm down. Um, I, I just wanted to quickly say, um, Soy, congratulations for a new train launch because uh, big achievement. Uh, I still fucking hate you and you're a piece of shit and uh, your chain is worthless. Uh, you know, all the normal things, right? Like, um, a uh, really nice attempt of like trying to steal stream swap from Omniflix, which is an ama- amazing. Uh, liquidity bootstrapping solution um but other than that like uh hey like you know nice nice work still love that you're rocking the dock uh really cool um but you know all the best for your future endeavors uh giving adam most of your liquidity most of your revenue all those like normal things so um congrats and i'm so glad that you finally unstaked all your adam and uh bought arbitrum which halted the other day which is really cool so congratulations for that um meanwhile like you've got me over here like holding my juno bags to zero so like i'm not like this knight in shining armor um you know uh, 35 cents i think it is at the moment something like that so it's uh it's really cool that um you know we can both be here holding our cosmos bags to zero uh, with having like a really small portion of our investment like outside of Juno and Neutron and Cosmos and like just like barely like pulling the uh the thread of hope in the Ethereum ecosystem. Cause I think that's I, like that's that's that like keeps going down, Marma. Have. Are you gonna keep DCAing to like to kind of like uh, make up for the times that you bought Juno at its height? 
I mean, are you going to like keep DCA? No, I, I think at this point, like, like, I think, uh, no, I just like, it, it, the same thing with Adam, right? It's just like Cosmos at the moment is just like, the way I see it is like, I, I, I cleaned my teeth this morning. I flossed them. And what I'm doing is like, I'm like pulling myself up with the floss that I just cleaned my teeth with. So like every now and then, like I might like grab a nice chunky piece of like meat that I ate a month ago that I like pulled out of my teeth and I'm like ah oh, yes I'm one step closer to like Ethereum where I can pay $70 for one transaction but at least I can make some money on like one NFT you know like that's that's kind of the thread of hope that I have for Cosmos at the moment that's like one of the most disgusting analogies I've ever heard Varma but um really happy for you <laughs> Does he know? Does he know he's got Bendy on the payroll or not? New, Neutron's got Bendy on the payroll to build a DAO over there. Do you know? Well, my, my question, my question is like, it's not just Bendy. It's like, who isn't on the payroll for Neutron? Like, early investors, <laughs> um, VCs. Um, I, I, I don't know how, but somehow, like, Soy managed to get like his little hands on like uh, some, you know, some some tokens. As three percent community member, wasn't it three percent of the of the fucking total supply or something? Well, yeah, um, so, something like that. It was really strange, but um, yeah, you know, hey, like you know, more power to you, right? Like, uh, like ever anyone can laugh at Juno from here, right? Like, if you're Neutron, if you who are, you know, even Comdex at the moment is like looking down on on Juno and just being like, Haha, we wash traded and we're still fucking winning. So, um, hey, like more power to you, right? Sorry, I wanted to mention, you said that Soy's little hands, Soy has really big hands. That's just something I want to be clear about with everyone. Like, Well, you know, there's, there's, there's scale in comparison, right? Like big hands for some, not big hands for others. When you say, Signal, when you say that he's got big hands and such a low and like... God, it's almost like a sexy voice, a little signal. It's kind of like, okay, we believe you. We believe you. It's because yeah, you've been hanging around with Gus. No, isn't it because you've been hanging around with Gus all day today? You and Gus have been proper perv city today. I heard you like all the innuendos. You're like proper tortured Gus today. You like. You, you're accusing me of innuendo. I was calling Gus a pervert. When and Gus I was is weird, calling when him Gus... out for his sick innuendo and his questions. When Gus is like, come me. on, come on, which which song touched you the most? And you're like, dude, you sound like a creepy fella. Like, show me on the doll. <laughs> well, don't you think? Don't you think that was fair though? The way he asked the questions, I thought that was fair. No, I ha I have very small hands for a man, so I always like really respect guys like Soy who have big hands. I've heard he's like six foot three. Yeah, uh, Soy. Is about, is he about huge, five kg? Huge, right? I've heard. Like a humongous, you know. You're a little fella, like, aren't you? You are when I think about it. I've met you in person. Oh, you're big, though. You're thick. You know, them Canadian fellas, babe. I mean, you're a little. <laughs> he, said, he said you're small, but you're thick. Like, wow. Wow. No, he, <laughs> his shoulders his shoulders are, like, twice the size of fucking mine. Like, he's proper thick. He's like me dad, you know, like, not tall. But, like, when you look at him side on, you're like, oh, I didn't want to fucking yeah. clip off. You wouldn't want to clip off signal, I'll tell you. It fucking and, and, just, just, and, and just recently, um, having been involved with Signal a little bit more on like the intellectual side, he might be like physically big, but intellectually, he'll also fuck you up. Like oh, the man next level, next level, the man. Yeah. So like uh, the whole like, you know, shit on Juno all you want and I'm here for it. Right. Who hasn't shit on Juno time to time? But uh, Signal is like, I was like, hey. You seem like a pretty chill mind. Like, you, you know, you bring some skill sets and he's just like, Rama, it's time for you to shut the fuck up. And I think that was like maybe the second time in my life that anyone's ever said that to me. And I was like, all right, man, like you could just, just chill. I'm like, daddy, please calm down. And he's just like, just. Eat. Bro, bro, I'm telling you, I was, I was with him for five minutes and he starts telling me about this fucking paper he wrote on fucking political correctness in fucking Java when he was 16 years old or so. I'm like, oh, dude, calm down. Come on. I thought I'd seen the wait, world. Wait, 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 hold on. I missed. Who are we talking about right now? I missed this. Fucking Signal's got one of the biggest brains. I mean, his head is quite large, to tell you the truth. Like, <laughs> <laughs> 
No, he really do have. Uh, well, from what I've seen, he has a huge brain. And I'm just saying uh, that, because that's in crypto. You want to fucking talk to him about fucking macro geopolitics, fucking economic, fucking so social fucking issues across. Oh, my goodness, he'll he'll put the vast majority of most people I've ever met in my life to fucking shame like <laughs> no shit. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I need to. I gotta shave my head. Oh, I, I used well, to shave uh, my head for, for several sorry. years. I was I was Excuse big bald. Can, can like, I just briefly perfect. interrupt? Yeah. Sorry, Roma. Yeah. No, I, as an experienced man with shaving your head, um, I'd just like to say uh, the brethren would welcome you to the shaved head society. So um, it, it might, you know, there's two ways this can go. It can increase or decrease your IQ. But what I can guarantee is that it multiplies your sex appeal by like at least 50x. So get amongst it. Does it get so cold? I, the, guys, does it get cold in the winter? I've I've never had a I'm, well. I have had short air, like but mm. it's abroad. Can I ask you in the winter yeah. when you got a bald head? Does it get cold or what? It so so. Rama, I want to say just for a second. I did keep my head like shaved clean for a couple of years, um, and then I grew it out recently because I'm getting married in uh, September. Um, <laughs> hey, thank you. Um, so I'm growing it out so that I can, I'm just growing out for fun and then I'll get it cut back to like a nice haircut for the wedding. Um, but I was, uh, the big thing for me when you shave your head is when it grows it a little bit, you go full, like you have like a Velcro head, but you can't even put a fucking shirt on without it like sticking to your head or at least for me. In Western Canada, walking through the forest. <laughs> sorry, dude. You I'm, I'm laughing so much. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Walk through the forest here in fall, and like leaves are falling, and you'll just get these like bright uh, orange or yellow leaves like stuck on your head, which is nice, right? And then you take them home and like uh, press them in wax paper and make a, 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 a portfolio out of it. <laughs> It's almost um, like you got metal detector, but it's only like it's a it, it detects like leaves and other things. And you get to like, oh, well, let's see what treasures I've gotten from my walk. Yeah, but Rama, yeah, exactly. But Rama knows what I'm talking about. But yeah, as soon as I also I want to say I stopped shaving my head about um, 18 months ago. And as soon as I stopped shaving my head, I just stopped working out because when you're a bald guy, you have this like real. Uh, necessity to be exactly no, like, I no, need it's not even, it's, I'm gonna interrupt you right and I Go will ahead. do this I'm not even the host I'm the co-host I'm not part of Rack FM it's this masculine urge and this drive and this determination like I'm a bold motherfucker I am masculine I am the fucking king of the jungle and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show off the only features that I have which is not my scalp but my beard and my shoulders and the fact that I have a thinner waist than my shoulders and no bullshit straight up. That's what it is. It's like, if I'm rocking no hair on my head, the only thing that I have is like, I can't show off my jawline anymore. Cause I have to shade that shit. Right. Because if you like, bald head, no beard, what are you doing with yourself? Right. So you guys sounds like Joe the bald head and no beard. <laughs> yeah, like you're Joe no Rogan, beard. right? It's like, oh, you have huge shoulders, and then like if you're Joe Rogan, like you're obviously taking steroids, so like you you're not gonna have like the triangle shape down to your hips, right? So don't he look like a peanut? Like, he looks like a peanut, doesn't he? Joe Rogan, when you look at him, he looks like a peanut. I know he's a big fella, but he looks like a peanut. Like yeah, out of the and, shell. I mean, and, out and of the now, shell. The, the, the worst thing is like like. As he gets older, he just like less of a peanut and more like a pistachio or something like that. You need to crack, and it's like all shriveled. It's like, oh yeah, amazing, cool. That's really, it's really nice. Um, t tastes great, <laughs> nice and salty, but nothing else. You know what I mean? He could take, he could take us three though. He could take me, you, and Signal. I reckon no problem. Uh, right? Oh, Thanks. listen to this coin. Oh, sorry, coin land. May just got his hand up. But Signal, do you want to retort what Rama said yeah. about you looking like a peanut? It's not a uh, not me. I think you're talking about Joe Rogan. I I do look like a peanut sometimes. Maybe like a boiled peanut. 
or one that was like sort of lost on the sidewalk. Um, Yo, I'm, I, I'm, I'm laughing right now, but I swear I thought you said penis. And that's why I was laughing because I really thought you said that at first because I, I was talking <laughs> to my husband and I'm like, I think that the reason that, you know, somebody might find, you know, bald head, you know, sexy or whatever is because of the top, the way it looks, the top of the head. You know, it's uh, almost like an aphrodisiac just walking yeah. around. You know what There's I mean? And then you're like, oh my God, hotness. You know, it's just, I don't know. I was kind of talking to my husband, but he, he agreed, but. Maybe I'm you kidding. get a little, you get a little tattoo at the top, so it looks like there's like a slit, like a tip thing, so it looks exactly like a penis. Do you know? Um, do you know? I've lived in my house. Do you know? I've lived in my house over six. I've lived in my house over six years now. And do you want to know something? Every uh, fucking day, and no, I've lived in my house over six years now, and I'm not shitting you, right? Every yeah. fucking day, the Indian dude comes round on his bicycle to fucking sell peanuts around the street and asks me every day if I want. When I'm sitting outside. He's like shaking the bag, and I'm like, nah, dude. And I've been telling him no every day for fucking six years, and the cunt still drives past and asks me every fucking day. Does anybody know if you've been to Thailand, if you know the peanut sellers? Mm -hmm. Man, this yeah, dude. Of course. One day I'm just going to have to give him 20 baht and tell him to fuck off permanently. Like, like <laughs> I'm going to have to go there. Yeah. Like The peanut sellers, all of them bald, right? Correct, yeah. The, he never <laughs> gives up, like, uh, we had, we've got Coin London Page. Now, Coin London Page is here. Now, this is quite an interesting one for a Friday night. Because on the fucking lurking around on the grapevine, I've been hearing a few things. But he had his hand up. Uh, welcome back, Coin Landon Page. Long time no see. Hey, a long time no see indeed. And I thought, like, okay, what are, what are they talking about? What this weekly round, a roundup? But you're just talking about bald people. So I guess no, I didn't no. miss much. We've been talking about <laughs> Binance. We've been talking about a few things. Hey, yeah. I'm, oh, yeah, I'm probably. Me. But uh, uh, speaking from experience, because I've I've been bald for a, a, a little while. Uh, Hell yeah! Don't, don't go too heavy in in uh, in muscling up because you might start to look like a thumb. Um, I'm, oh, well, like Mark Zuckerberg. You mean like Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg looks like a thumb. When did anybody see him at those no, yeah, congressional like, hearings? Oh, if, if your shoulders get too big, your your neck just start to disappear, and you know it just looks like a thumb sticking out. He, when he was doing the MMA, if anybody saw uh, Zuckerberg doing the MMA, my God, what a setup that was. Right, I'll tell you what, I'm going to spring a fucking surprise on like 99% of the room. Uh, Coin landing page, you don't have to speak if you don't want to. I'm really glad you're here. Uh, it's been brought to my attention uh, kind of like earlier in the week or whatever that maybe, yeah. Uh, Someone might have reached out to you and talked to you about Coin London Page and then proceeded to ghost you and maybe do their own project. Am I on the grapevine? Am I smelling things that's been going on with uh, Coin yeah, London Page? Yeah. Yeah, do you, yeah, I mean, completely. you don't have I to talk. Okay. I, even, I even communicated to you guys about this that uh, I was being contacted about people wanting to. Uh, to uh, work together and and maybe even like acquire you did yeah uh, you did yeah. yeah you and did then, yeah uh, they they proceeded to offer me a job and I was like oh well I, I, I'd be down to listen and and to see what we can do and then even apart from uh from the job uh I I proposed a couple collaborations of way to to collaborate so that we like build together instead of uh like the same thing basically um. But yeah, yeah. Like the thing is, you can't stop anyone from building the same thing. I don't necessarily have a problem with that. But the 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 sad thing, or like the little bit disappointing thing, is the fact that they're denying that I wanted to collaborate. And I mean, that's really where, like the the um, it starts to to be a little bit annoying because you're like, man. And then it, it's not just there because there it's it's also with the. It involves some other people and and their job and and so it's not even the person who wants to do the same is not even making it themselves. They're asking a group to do it, and this group is getting uh, uh, no more funding from them. Uh, so it's it's like a very strange situation. I'm getting caught up in in some like a secondary drama basically. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't necessarily know too well how to deal with this, but. Apart from that, I mean, it's, it's, it's been a, a shocker to hear uh, that happening. But apart from that, like some pretty nice shit happened this week. And just like a, 
a, a, a, an hour ago I got some really really good news, but I'm I'm gonna keep that on a oh. on a on a oh. down low. Did you? Li- yeah, oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, Sonny, uh, can you can you hear me? Can you hear me, Sonny? Are you listening? He's keeping it on the low down, but your man's got good news. I hope you listen to the uh, fucking replay, fucking Sonny. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't have to do anything with Sonny. This one, it's it's also with a. Uh, Someone whose name starts with an S, but uh, um, sorry, but a, but, a much, uh, much person, person, much better person. By the way, Rama, what the fuck, dude? I'm fucking happy to see you here again. And and look at this crowd. What a nice crowd. Um, Looking yeah, nice. no, sorry. Um, uh, just a bit of hay fever going on here at the moment, so I apologize. I think I'm unmuted when I need to sneeze. Um, uh, no problem, man. You can sneeze on that, me whenever you want. Is that when you called I, I, Sonny? You couldn't there, Rama, was it? Uh, no, I reserved that specifically for certain people. Um, I think I said bullshit, um, but it was, um, <laughs> just unintentional when I sneezed there for a moment. Yeah, and that does happen sometimes, you know. <laughs> okay, but, um, I, I'm going to jump back to, uh, to listeners soon because I'm, uh, I'm actually waiting for, uh, for a ride to, uh, Amsterdam. So, uh, no, oh, my, my friend, you're off to Amsterdam. Yes, oh, I'm man. off to Amsterdam. I think my ride has arrived, so uh, no way. I'm gonna I'm gonna say bye. I'm gonna host you... the rest of the show and me do Chuck send for you. Um, oh no, please just, don't. Uh-uh. Just, 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 We're good. Just, just very quickly, if I could, um, Queen Landing Page. Um, what I saw earlier, uh, I think it was within the last 24 hours. I think um, the Cosmos SDK Twitter account, no underscore. Um, it was previously controlled by someone from Osmosis. And what I wouldn't want to happen to the Coin Landing page account was that someone from Osmosis um, got control of that account, lost the username and password, and then Cosmos was in a situation where Co- uh, Coin Landing page was like an integral and critical part of the ecosystem. And when someone tweeted out something about a very critical security patch that impacted almost every chain in the ecosystem that when they tweeted that from like an account that only had 200 followers that no one wanted to listen to it and because someone from osmosis lost the username and password it was not really seen as actual official advice um so if if just in case if that happens to be coin landing page in the future please make sure that you save the username and password offline very secure place so then if the wider ecosystem really needed it that it could be either transferred or given to an an entity quote unquote that we could make sure that's not emulate some random fucking organization given a few million dollars a year to ensure the wider ecosystem security was handling that that no one knew about so thank you that's all hey guys hey guys real quick Real quick, coin landing page, I'll let you speak. Um, but I just want everybody to know, Kay, um, my friend that I was talking about from the dispensary that we were talking, he's down He's down in the listeners. So if you guys want to say hello. Um, hey. Hello, hey, Kay. Kay. <laughs> okay. <cool>. Hey, Kay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a marijuana thing? You're welcome. No, he, he's... um. He's he's a, he's a bud tender at dispensary, and we were chatting. Remember, I was telling you about Did that. Did you say a bud tender? Bud tender, not butt tender. Dispensary. <laughs> but, sorry. Australian, Australian weed is not legal here, except for like, like one seventy fourth of the country, which is Canberra. You mean like psychedelic mushrooms dispensary or like? Uh, oh no, like a weed dispensary. They have you know those are around somewhere, but no. <laughs> Rama's forgetting yet. about. Rama's forgetting about Nimbin. Rama's like, uh, oh, Canberra, but oh, Nimbin. Uh, no, that. Nimbin, it's not even legal in Nimbin. I think the, the law just forgets about Nimbin. It's like, <laughs> it's, it's a part of the country. Yeah, no one, no one really, it, it's kind of like Kalgoorlie. You know what I mean? Mate, I think Coin Landon Page might have to go, but he's got a, he's got an answer for you. Go on, Coin Landon Page, what have you got to say to Rama? Yeah, yeah, just I wanted to quickly, uh, quickly say goodbye, but before I go, um rarma and maybe other people in this in this room if you guys are interested um to have like a discussion about what kind of information uh, projects have to disclose then feel free to send me a message and uh because i'm going to be working with uh ray uh you guys you guys know him 
Um, Reef and white boundary dow. Yes. No, uh, no, tur- turkey dow. You mean turkey dow? <laughs> To see and 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 like uh, Be careful with Brent. define a couple standards for the disclosure of information. So if anyone's interested to uh, to jump on that conversation, let me know and I'll uh, I'll put some uh, some people together. All right, now I'm gonna jump back to listener. It was great to see you guys or like speak to you guys again after a while. All right. Enjoy Amsterdam, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. See you later. Take care, man. My friend is going to Amsterdam. The Dutch people, they like to tell you, the Kush or oh, the Northern Lights. Man, this Northern Lights is so good. Well, you got some in your mouth, Rama. You got like marble or something. I don't know. Um, Rama, that was me. What are you talking about, woman? I mean, Robo. Sorry, I just couldn't understand what you were um, saying. I didn't know. <laughs> what? To Amsterdam. In Amsterdam, to talk like this. You know? <laughs> no, I I've been Amsterdam 11 times, man. I love the fucking place. It's like one of the most amazing places on earth, man. It's fucking just so fucking epic. It's, if you've never strolled around Amsterdam at night, just like enjoying yourself with a big smile on your face, off your face on mushrooms, or like you've never lived, man. It's one of the most visit places in the history of the world. Like it's fucking amazing. Signal, you've been? I saw your emojis yeah. there. Oh. It's oh, it's gorgeous. I went for the first time in September, uh, myself and my uh, fiance. What, September last year? You've just gone? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, 2023, yeah, September. Um, Dude, did, it, it you have Mac, did you have McDonald's? Did you have a McDonald's order? Because I tell you what, <laughs> there's no McDonald's in the world like in Amsterdam. Oh, best McDonald's in the world. Of course, no. I have McDonald's. Oh, what about? you, what of you course think? It is. What did you think? Isn't yeah. it the best McDonald's Great. in the world? <laughs> Bro, it's tra- like about traveling. It's just eating McDonald's in other countries. It's, it's bro. So this fun. is like. This is like next level though. It's like some Big you know, Mac has been brought yeah, from good. like 1986. It's like, you know, like, yeah. like it's like Battle of the Future Big Macs. It's like, yeah. oh my God. They, they do a good job. I had a good Big Mac. I was, I was in Taiwan like a couple of weeks ago and I had a really good Big Mac there. Um, Bro, well. my last, uh, my last, but, but my just, last hotel room, wait, my last hotel room. No shit. My last hotel room, the entire like place was like painted like a, a beach scene, right? All the walls and everything. And like in front of like the big major wall, they just had this like massive like hammock bed, like no bed in the room, just a gigantic like hammock in front mm-hmm. of these like palm tree. Dude, I'll have to find the photos. You should see the room I slept in. It's fucking amazing. I woke up like in the middle of like this beach, like proper like shells, like ornaments all over the little like, oh, dude, it's fucking, they've got some amazing experiences over there. You're going to. I mean, I know I want to talk about what you can do in Bangkok, but you can probably do fucking more shit in Amsterdam than you can do in Bangkok, and that's saying something. Mm. No, yeah, in a lot of ways, I feel like crypto is like an abstraction of traveling and just like staying in a shit hotel room, eating McDonald's in a different country. It's like what's all of that cheapest? packed what's, into, into something. So, What's the cheapest you've ever stayed in before? What's the cheapest you've ever stayed in? I bet you I can put away that. No, see, yeah. Weird. I stayed in a place that was 75 pence once, right? So it was yeah, less than know, a yeah. bin lid. Weird, I do. It was less than a quid, less than a bin lid. And it was basically just like a bungalow made of fucking wood with like no electricity, no fucking running water, no nothing. And it was on a, I forgot, in, uh, you know, 5,000 islands or 4,000 islands, sorry, in uh, Laos, you know, south, southern Laos. Yep. That's the yep. uh, Cambodia there, those yep. islands. It was like on the second one, Safe on Don. It was on Safe on Don, I think it was. It's just like mm-hmm. ta- right on the river, though. Dude, it was less than one pound a night. And that was 2009. Yeah. Only 14 years ago. Not that long ago. Fuck. I, it was I, bad. bad life. The cheapest for me, I stayed somewhere like an island just off Cap in South Cambodia, if you know, uh, for like, I think two or three US dollars a night. Like a, a quite pretty, well, sorry, I'm going to say it's a nice place, but it was, it was just a shack on the beach. <laughs> you know what I mean? But didn't we uh, talk about? Didn't you and I talk about Kep before, right? I'm sure we did. Did we? Or not? No. It might, it might be someone else. A long time to be kept up. Yeah. Did you do Campot on the way to Kep? Did you? Um. You know the place. I've been, where I've been to Cap quite a few times. So okay, well you must have went from through Kampot, and if you went from uh, non pen, no, right? No Kampot, well, yeah, yeah. I've been so to okay, so Kampot is where they do the crab, but the pepper yeah. comes from Kampot, right? 
Yeah, Kep, Kep is where they actually get the crab, as far as I understand. Kep, yeah, Kempot yeah. is and like the... Kempot's the where they grow the pepper. No, no, it's yeah. where they grow all the pepper, I've been. Where they grow all the pepper, yeah, I've been exactly. all, all, all the Lau. Pe- I have done, I've done, I've done from like the tip of, the northern tip of Lau, like all the way down and all the way through Cambodia, Dude, I, the whole I, thing. I, I have a big pack of um, Kep pepper right now, like in my kitchen. I've got green, white, and, uh, and black. Dude, it's not actually kept pepper though, it's kampot. There you go, see, you learn something every day. Anyway, well, we're, going change, we're going to change the subject. I want to ask Rama how his nipper is. How's their, uh, how's their band getting on there, Rama? It must be, what, oh, three months or something now, right? Three, three and a half months or what? Uh, yeah, very close, actually. Um, he's, he's been born into an absolute pit of fire. Uh, is he getting strong though? Is he get, is he getting strong? Is he? He doesn't have a choice because um, Luca, my three year old daughter, um, is an absolute fucking demon of a child, <laughs> which is which is I would expect absolutely nothing less, right? Like incredible. Has she changed? Has she changed since he come along or what? Has yeah, she changed? yeah. Uh, has she changed? Yeah, yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. So she's in become, what way? She's become both stronger and softer at the same time which is the most ironic thing um she's smarter and also dumber which is again like it and the biggest challenge for me is like as a parent sitting back and looking at it as like she's intellectually incredibly smart like she can speak full sentences as a three-year-old right like as, like adult language no problems word for word perfect but then understanding basic things like you cannot put a pillow on your little brother's head when he's two months old like no understanding of that stuff right like um no she knows what she's doing she's jealous uh, well, <laughs> that's yeah, a power no, play you, thing you're but... Right. <laughs> you're right. um but she she's intellectually incredibly smart but then uh, emotionally not quite so like she's regressed in a lot of areas i, I don't want to like, i don't want to like draw down the whole spaces but like now like when she settles down, she's getting ready for like bath and bedtime. She like she wants to play the baby game, quote unquote, which is like where she's a three year old who puts a dummy in her mouth and she like sits in my arms. Never had a dummy in, in her entire life, but because her little brother has a dummy, I understand, right? Um, and then like otherwise, she's just like just wants to cuddle him, kiss him, play dolls, do all the, like the little things. When I pick him up, he's just like all smiles, happiness, laughs. The, the he's the happiest kid we've ever had. Put him down on the ground on hardwood floors, he's asleep. It's like incredible. Like, yay! Um, so just the whole balance of like that stuff is interesting. But we're getting there. It's fun. Rama, can I ask you a quick question? If that's all right, if you don't mind. Uh, has it been like more of a struggle, obviously, to like uh, with your like crypto sort of commitments, like sub DAOs and stuff? Has it been like a a major correction for you or because you already had a fairly like young child not much of a major correction or what um i think sub it just interrupt me anytime if i like talk too much because i think now you're golden no you're golden so much it, it, it's, Stop. More, it's Keep probably going. more of like a, a longer conversation i don't want to like derail rack fm and i'm happy to like I, I do want to talk about this stuff. Obviously, Robo, you kind of know what I want to talk about at some point, but um, I'll leave that for like later. Um, the the subdow stuff, I think uh, there was obviously some stuff that happened, which we'll get to later, um, that uh, I took a break around when uh, Cooper, which is, so my, my son is called Cooper. My daughter is called Luca. Uh, we thought it was a fucking great decision. And now when we're like, harassing children as you do quote unquote harassing we now realize it's the fucking dumbest decision we've ever made Luba, Cooper, Luba, Luba, Cooper. <laughs> correct yeah yep. uh, weird. So is, is that is that after cooper the beer is it now cooper's the beer is that after, is that what you meant uh, so call me the fucking call us my wife and i the stupidest parents you've ever met in your entire life but we were driving up to um byron bay with our two-year-old daughter at the time and we're like hey you're going to be a big sister. What would you like your brother's name to be? And she's like, Cooper. And it just happened to be that we couldn't find another name other than Cooper. So we stuck with Cooper. <laughs> um, we literally couldn't find another name. So uh, Cooper is 
now the little brother. Um, so we had Looper and Cooper. Uh, so now the boy is called Coops because you can't have Cooper and Luca. So it's Coops and Luca. Um, the what was the original point? I can't fucking remember. I don't stay up this late anymore. No, no, I did. I did just ask her if it's like kind of like not not hindered your your crypto oh, work yes, or you. if yeah. you've had to like reset yourself a little bit and replan and reorganize your kind of like life and you know, how you organize things. Yeah. Yeah. No. Thanks for reminding me. Um. So definitely. Uh. My normal like day to day operations. I think. Um. Prior to. Uh. Having the second child, I like took a break probably we'll, we'll talk to that at some point there was a reason why i took a break it was a very good break i like reset my mind reset my life expectations of like where my priorities are um work was like super stressful super busy and then crypto on top of that which was literally free right like everything i did in like crypto was 90 percent free and then i'm also a dad and I'm also working 60 hour weeks. So uh, all of that stuff leading into like being a dad for the second time, I was like, I can't handle all this. I can't do it all. Something needs to give. I took a step back and I was like, what is the priority for me? And uh, the first and foremost is being a parent, being a dad uh, and my day-to-day -day job. So I stepped back, did those things, refocused on like how I want to operate in the future world. I had a month of work, which was good. And um, I realized that like a lot of the stuff that happens on Twitter, just in general, is like not that much value add for myself. Um, so it was like this really weird, like I, I love engaging with the community and I love being around and being on spaces, talking and all that stuff. But uh, at the time, it was just way too much. So I took a step back didn't like focus on crypto stuff as much focused on family first my normal day-to-day -day job that pays like my fee at bills and stuff and then whatever time i had remaining was like crypto stuff so that was like let's shorten it that was like how i focused my priorities Jaws, Jaws probably listening, Ram, and he's probably thinking, what a fucking weak cunt, because like Jaws got like what 16 kids and lives in a shoe or something is that right <laughs> Is that right about Joy? He's got 16 kids and lives in a shoe, no? This is the worst space I've ever lived right. in. <laughs> Joe, why are you so mad? Why are you, Why do you wake up salty? I mean, I know you live because in yes, the yes, suburbs. Yes, uh, Stop acting oh, like you live in the city. You live in the burbs. So why are you waking up so salty? I'm breathing in smoke. My lungs are, are getting poisoned by these Canadians who can't control their bonfires. Well, it's just... Joe, don't bring Canada into this. Come on, man. It's not, it's choking not on the it's smoke everyone too. except for Signal is poisoning my lungs right now. You know why? America's downwind of Canada, though. He doesn't give a fuck him right now, does he? Signal, he's like, ha ha, laughing his head off. I, I, I have a lot of sympathy no. for anyone who is um, trying to live their life, day to day, -to -day life, and uh, just smoking. Uh, breathing in like toxic smoke that's damaging their lungs. But you know, signal, we, we send you our acid rain. But so it's, it's an even trade. It's an even trade. I have to say, all these fucking New Yorkers on on Twitter being like, "You guys have never seen anything like this before." Holy fuck! You never seen a spider. <laughs> hey guys, this, actually, this they just realized we ones been smoking right. nonstop, like. Right. But it, but they they don't get to choose which smoke gets into their lungs now, yeah. so we're all upset wearing our masks again. Yeah, you got you gotta see this guy, and I'm gonna make it into an NFT, put it on Cardano. Yeah, so <laughs> who, who, who's the real winners, right? Like you fucking filthy Americans that has been shitting on the rest of the world for like your entire life, right? And then Canada, Canada, Canada has like one fire one time, and your entire country goes into shutdown. All of you who are asthmatics, you've got all your diabetes, you're all overweight, you can't even walk one block, and all of a sudden, your entire country shuts down. You can't function. You lose millions, billions, trillions of dollars worth of economy because you can't even fucking walk to your offices, you fat, lazy pieces of shit. And the Canadians are laughing right. at you in their Bro. smoke with 
with their Bro, mask, with their. I can't believe that a guy. Mask. The whole maybe we should wear <sighs> denim shorts like you guys do and just go out there into the fire. Bro, Australians that's... are literally born in fucking wildfires, and you're you're looking at us like, oh, how do you guys survive this stuff? It's like it's, we we literally do this to ourselves every single year. Darwin looks at us as they burn their fucking wildfires and the, the, the tsunami winds bring it down to the southeast coast. We look at it and we go, ah, oh, yes, finally the rebirth of the east coast of Australia. Fucking weak bro. piece of shit. Their commander in chief, their commander in chief can't even take four fucking steps without falling over, man. Didn't even go there, man. That fucking, oh my goodness. Did you see the woman's face when she walked away laughing? No, you're, <laughs> going, you're going a little too far. You cannot say anything bad about our commander, our duly elected commander in chief. You know what? That's cruelty. That, I tell you what, if that was anybody else except for this guy, you'd be reporting him to fucking social services for fucking cruelty against the fucking old. I'm telling you, yes, would. Everybody knows it. If your man's falling yeah, over every two minutes, I'm telling you. I have no problem with him, to be honest with you. You're talking about Joe, right? You mean, you mean Joe? Uh, no, he's boss man the, who pays his salary. Oh, yeah. Old, uh, old Pissy Pants. Is, is that his nickname? Old Pissy Pants? Hey, did, did you guys... um? Did you guys dare to look at Hunter Biden pictures and stuff like that? I've seen it all. So, sorry. Oh my God. 20, I couldn't actually bring I saw, myself. I was I saw the lot. I would, I would his be able to see it. Leave the guy alone. He's living his best life. I wish I had that life. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not even no. no, kidding. Joe has the best take on this, I have to say. Yeah. I envy anyone that's that's even remotely close to his level of irresponsibility and enjoyment of life it's just great for him have you got a sat nav on joe in the background every time you come on to talk i mean like a sat nav saying talking turn left you fucking pleb cunt no sorry i'm on hold with my uh, human resources usually the average hold time is four hours i called eight minutes ago when they first opened so i don't know how long are you, be, are you complaining are you complaining about something yeah i'm gonna call my union and say i should get compensated for all the smoke in my lungs because we we didn't have to go to work yesterday or today so it's uh like like rama and signal are saying good our society has come to a grinding halt because of some clouds in the sky it's really and everyone's Bro, looking up at, yeah, i mean ridiculous. you've lived in you lived in southeast asia joe i didn't think you were going to be such a pussy if it fucking tell you the truth like bro i expected more from you i um, really did like well i mean i i love it actually i i went out last night till like right. late I, I, I took the train into the city to get more of that dirty <laughs> i went i went it, out out it... Joe, is it P uh, PM 2.5? Is that what it is? What's is that, that the problem? It's PM 2.5, right? What do you mean PM 2.5? Well, that's right. Okay, so basically, you're all complaining about the smoke. Well, why? Well, it's about 2.5, which is like the tiny, tiny, tiny little micro particle that goes inside your lung. So if you like, just Google PM, which is obviously retarded and you don't know what you're talking about. If you Google PM 2.5, I mean, if you've got that, then fair enough. If it's quite extreme, I understand. But I mean, if you're not, then I mean, I, I live in the country. I live in 2.5 every day. Song Jud Ha, we call it in Thailand, right? Okay. 2.5, Song Jud Ha. I, I, I remember I, I, living in, in Korea, and, and this would be like for a month, and the, the particles were so big you could fucking taste them. And it was uh, really not a, it was not a big yeah. deal. They were just Uncle Dude, I, was, I, I was in Beijing like before the Olympics when they're building it up. Like 2006, 2007, which is like a fucking nightmare. Did, didn't they stop the factories? But, uh, didn't didn't they close like all the factories for like 30 days before the Olympics started or something? I remember like they shut all the factories down in and yeah. around Beijing. Yeah, that's right. I asked them to, and they did it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um I was no, uh, I was gonna say like it's kind of funny. I kind of wonder honestly with like how fucked our uh, economic and systems are and like products i wonder what it is for new york right now like the damage caused by this smoke versus the amount of money generated by like all these influencers posting about it you know what i'm talking about it's like uh yeah uh, like the damage to that yeah yeah no no, no like the amount of money that all these like uh fucking shitheads are making by just like posting about it and running around 
Yeah, what mm. damage has that caused it's, into the aesthetics and, and the economy of New York? Yeah, for, right. versus like the, yeah, versus like the general uh, uh, damage, like in an economic sense, if you're just looking at the region. I don't know. It's, I, it's I really bad. Wonder, it's, it's, it's probably like uh, billions per day just for New York City. Because I remember when we had the hurricane and, and the, the subways closed for like five days, the damage was in the billions. for, And that was like, what, 15 years ago, something like that. I don't even know how long, 10 years ago? We had a, yeah, we had a, I guess... That makes sense because you live in like an important city, right? It's also yeah. like it's also it's like people ball. that have to travel in and out of the airports and stuff. It's 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 a it's it's but a it's, cascading uh, effect. No, no, you're it's, right. no, you got to you got to be honest. Yeah. You got to be honest you're about right, New right. York. You got to be honest about New York. It's exactly the same as like London, right? Beautiful. The the very the very no no but uh, yeah in its in its. Doesn't be New York City. It, it, New it's decrepancy. Sorry, New York City, but it, it's beautiful in its decrepancy. Like like London is right. If you go to London, it's a fucking shithole. Let's be honest. If you get to New York, it's pretty much a fucking shithole. It's just like a famous one, but it's because of how it was built, the lack of like the sewer system, how the old sewer system was turned into like the tube or the underground, blah blah blah, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Like, I mean, London's a lot fucking older, obviously, than New York, but the resemblances are fucking very very stark. You don't create so like if you go back to the days of like the five points and stuff like that. Like, New York it was just, like, this random fucking shit that kicked in. And, like, for a long time, there was no control over for many, many decades. Go on, Joe. It's, uh, could we change the subject? This is really fucking boring. Okay. I, 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 have, a, I have a change of subject, if I may. As, as, as a member of uh, the yeah. wider community, I'm more than happy to reset the room to something that might be a little bit more interesting. Reset. Reset. Do it. Do it. Do Interesting it. for the wider audience. Do it. Who is interested in enjoying a nice Friday morning or evening of spicy rack FM spaces content? Well, we've got an intelligent room. I mean, look at who's, I mean, are you talking about resetting the room? Look at the legends. Ambedo's in here. The fucking official rack FM fucking artist who's about to break into the big. Te- I'm not going to talk about Neutron. <clears throat> We got soy. What? That's all so I'm gonna just, say. Just, just, Rasco, no, just quickly, Funky, just quickly, Taboo. Just come on, just Timmy. Just Timmy's here. Oh, Mr. come on, Rama, Rama go, go, Mr. Rama, go, go. If we go. want to make it interesting and spicy, why would we talk about neutron? Is all I've got to say. Oh, I need to be careful. I want speed on a show with some apps. I've been promised an exclusive, so I need to no, be careful. No. So we we, there's, we need there's, to be careful. So, Mr. Mr. Robbo, oh, yeah. Mr. Robbo, sir, oh, yeah. there's, a very, there's a very big difference between having a very spacey, spicy spaces content and a very engaging, interesting spaces that encompasses and engages the audience, right? So, without further ado, Mr. Robbo verse web3 rack fm host gatekeeper of the joe rack put your hand community. down community no you're not talking right now joe be quiet put your hand down sir the moment we've all been waiting for the divergence the discrepancies the split of the rack versus quote unquote core now is the time now is the space now is the opportunity to get it all out in the open and mr terror spaces mr finn fighting extraordinaire let it be the moment that we all talk about this openly sir please be cool be cool be cool if there was a couple more people here though wouldn't it oh that sir, really would be a nice little sit down the 555 five, five spaces followers the incredible extraordinaires of the crypto cosmos extraordinaires please sirs indulge us with your listens so can you please did you hear it why? wait rama rama oh, wait so, wait ahead, wait please. i know you i know you don't listen back to spaces but did you hear the food v food space or not did you hear that I, one I, I did not i i only oh. listen to the ones i i get dm certain spaces at certain time slots that Hey, you should listen to this. It, it, it might be really interesting for you. And I'm like, bro, I've got a fucking cr- screaming child in my hands. Um, sure, let me find some time. Uh, other than that, <laughs> um, 
However, there's some been, there's actually been some really good ones. So um, Ben's uh, Spotify playlist is fuck the like, Terra Spaces Spotify is incredible. I go through that and I'm like two exit and I'm like, is there something interesting? Amazing. Slow it down. Cool. Listen for a bit. Two exit. Moving on. Ninety percent of it's like two x. Anywho, back to the point at hand. Oh my god, how did Robo and Rama become from like the bestest bros to never talking to each other ever again? Please, would anyone like to lead it? I better sit in the background and just listen for a moment. I'm I'm really this is kind of funny for me because I was trying to work on like a a Robo impression for a long time. It it was always like please don't please and no Joe tried this for a bit. Joe tried no, this. no, Joe, Joe, Joe's is always darling, darling, right? That kind of thing. Mine, mine was always like, Rama, wait, Rama, wait, Rama, wait. You know what I mean? Rama, Rama, wait, Rama, Rama, wait, 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 exactly, exactly. Wait, 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 Rama, wait, 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 wait. Rama, wait. So it's, but you already said that. You said that like two minutes ago. So it's just so nice for me to hear that again i actually went back uh the other day because we were talking about it on the space and i talked about the uh rug because that was like before b bands hooked up uh, i tell you what he's got his hand up guys joe's dm'd and said like this space is so boring or something he's going to leave i didn't read the full dm i just saw so, the flat uh, I'm, notification I'm Bravo. i mean what about joe, you can read i has got a lot to say and we'll, we'll hear we'll hear what rama has got to say you can go joe no, I'm yeah no uh, what's up joe what's up like you know i feel like Previous let him history, speak, Rama. Right? Let him no, speak. No, let him speak quickly. Bygones. Honestly, I think the thing that Joe wants to say is that it's like past his bedtime, even though he's just getting up to work. And he he doesn't really have time for this. You know, uh, he's got like 17 kids and then he needs to go to work and like raise another like 25 kids on top of that as an uneducated teacher. Whilst... And then he needs porridge and then he porridge. He's 17 kids and he porridge, right? Yeah, correct. While also working at a pizza shop on the corner. So uh, <laughs> it's uh, Joe, go ahead, please. Like, just say what you need to say and then leave and then we'll get to the real meat. Um, I was going to say, we didn't recognize some of the, the important people in this space. Robo started to, but you left out a very important uh, member of a DAO that's responsible for nearly all of the economic activity in the cosmos. All of our customer uh, uh, service representatives are busy right now. Please hold on, and the next re representative will be right with you. Joe's life oh, right you know now who, is in the toilet. Joe, your life you know, in the toilet right now, isn't it? <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, Robo. The, the number one DAO in the cosmos. All the economic activity um, Joe, sorry, goes I through this like DAO. To say, I, you know, I, I really like love and appreciate your enthusiasm for DAOs and how like cool that was back in 2023. But um, we've moved on and uh, no one's really talking about DAOs anymore. Like we're, we're living in 2023 in the sixth month. So uh, DAOs were like early 2023, like, you know, maybe like January, February, March, if you like really wanted to stretch it. But um He's talking about he's talking about he's talking about Lion Dow, I think, isn't he? Uh, no, oh. Lion Dow is like really cool. I don't I don't think they like consider themselves as like too much of a Dow anymore. Like they're just doing cool shit. Like, you know, they did they just like recklessly release tokens, you know, release NFT um collections, which is like that's fuck yeah, like let's go. But like um, you know, I, I, I don't you know, even like Arma, you, you, sorry. Uh, no, you know no, what I like? No, please. Like, Sorry, if I've had like a really long day. You know what I like doing at the end of it? Just lying down. <laughs> That's a great question. Watch out, everyone. Um, He'll be here all week. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to bring this back boom, boom, boom. Hand because uh, I have two children that are going to wake me up at like 5 a.m. So like, fuck that shit for like staying up until 1. So but back to the original point at hand. Uh, Rama's here, Robo's here, Rack FM's here. Now's the time, now's the space. Uh, speak your mind. I'm here to listen. Uh, if you don't want to, yeah, talk, man, I'm here to, I'll, I'll talk. Go for it. I mean, I'll tell you what, your woman B band's butchered me fucking soul over the fucking Dell port. Like, maybe that was fucking ill informed. Fucking, ah, you know, sometimes I don't know, Rama, I'm fucking 
way too fucking reactionary. Like, I think, like, I've been trying to fucking rein, rein it in for a long time. And I, I still try, but it's fucking, it's fucking not working. Like, it's fucking hard work anyway. I mean, I caused World War Three. We're fucking wild there. Uh, your wanna, man last I week. Just very, I just want to very quickly interrupt, right? Like, uh, Joe, I see you laughing there, right? Um, I'm, I'm all for, like, dance and shit. If you want to laugh, that's cool. But I joined tonight because uh, I want to have a chat, like an actual, like, man-to-man chat. And if you, like, keep laughing, that's cool. That's fine. Like, you know, four-year-old boomer living in fucking in the Bronx, that's sweet, right? Um, but, like, where the, the wider ecosystem, I think, personally, uh, is suffering. And I'm not saying, like, oh, the whole Rama Robo thing or whatever, right? But I think that there's a bigger thing here where Cosmos as an ecosystem is severely suffering and being impacted by a lack of vision, a wider vision, right? And if we don't actually sort our shit out as an ecosystem, Cosmos will fucking fail. And we're going to be eaten up by every other ecosystem that semi has their shit in order. Okay. And yeah, everyone has fucking disagreements. Everyone has arguments, right? And that's fine. You know, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, you might have disagreements, you might have arguments, that's fine. But if as an ecosystem and as small as Cosmos is, if you can't come and have conversations and yeah, Sure, it might be like two, three months late, whatever, for various reasons that we'll get to. If we can't like band together and have a vision of Cosmos and promote Cosmos, every single person that is invested in this ecosystem, whatever mother money you've put in, it's for nothing. Because we are so small in the crypto space. We actually are so fucking small. And everything we do is so little in the space that we actually need to like look at what we're doing why would you invest in cosmos right now as a cosmos investor like we'll, we'll sorry robo we'll get back to it but like as a cosmos investor right now you're already invested in the ecosystem right why would you put more money in in the way in which we operate right now is it the ecosystem is it the community is it the devs is it the tech none of those things do i go hey I'm going to put my fucking fiat money that I work hard for into this ecosystem in the way in which we're operating, right? Like the devs, fucking shit. The community, fighting amongst each other. The tech, not that great. Like let's actually fucking sort this shit out, deal with the fucking situations, man on man, front it up. Like Jake and Shane on the Stargate shit, right? Robbo and I on the fucking whatever it is that we've got going on, which we'll address tonight, right? Actually front up, talk about it, deal with it, get it over and done with, and be like, hey, cool, can we move on? Because without everyone being on the same page and being aligned and working on this shit and fighting for Cosmos, what are we doing? I'll shut up for a moment. Robbo, do you have anything that you'd like to say? Oh, sorry, I was just replying to Coin London page because he's been giving me loads of fucking grief in the fucking... Say that, his comment. No? Coin London page, man, when you don't get mentioned when Robo names the big brains in the room. Oh, listen to this cunt fucking... Jo- eh? All right, you missed Coin a lot London. of people, Robo. You missed a lot of people. Well, I, because the fucking space is fucking buggy and it, you, like, we just keep... All right, I didn't mention you. Oh, my goodness, I'm sorry. Please tune into the I, NFT I'm, happy I'm gonna, hour. I'm going to very I'm gonna very quickly interrupt, and I'm going to hand it over to Joe when I'm done. I'm not the host, I'm the co-host. I don't care if you're fucking Juno, if you're Stargaze, if you're Adam, if you're fucking Meme Chain, if you're whatever, right? The only way that Cosmos succeeds is if... And I don't care about the fucking devs, right? The whole. Why are you are using? Like, why are you using Cosmos? I mean, is it that long since we've spoken? Why are you not using IBC? Come on now, you don't let me down like this, brother, on the stage. Come on. Uh, you, you're right, but the the wider ecos, like the wider crypto, doesn't know IBC, right? So I've taken a step back, right? Outside of Cosmos, 
they don't know IBC. They know Cosmos. They know Atom, right? I've taken a step away from all of this shit. They, don't, they really don't. They don't care about, all they know is Atom ticker and then the Cosmos ecosystem. If we want to succeed and we want our, all of our bags to succeed, what we need to do is, and I don't fucking care about the grifters of the devs who have done dog shit shit on one certain chain. If we don't all like band together in some way and actually align what we're trying to do to deliver a message to the wider crypto space, none of our bags are going to win. Like uh, Secret can't win. Stargaze can't win. Adam can't win. We all need to band together and talk about what the tech is, but take the tech away. It needs to be like blockchain abstraction and be like, here is the things that we're doing that you as a general user can do that adds value to your life. That's the fucking thing. And that's how we win. And it might be like philosophical. We can't do it yet. Every other ecosystem is shitting on us in every other way. What are we doing? We're fighting amongst ourselves with like 200 people. It makes no sense. And um, I'm going to have to say I agree with that very much. And I want to let Joe, he had his hand up for a while. And Tindermint Timmy just hopped up real quick. So I just want to make sure that we give everybody a chance to chime in. Robo, before they chime in, do you have anything to say? Are you uh, Gucci? Okay. Who's next? You know, you know. Yesterday, I went to a uh, like a Polygon uh, meetup, and um, they're actually building stuff that's value add to the users' lives. And uh, one builders, of the topics, man. builders. I mean, even if you're building complete shit, at least you're building something, right? But the, you know, I talk to the, these guys, they're building different things. One guy's got a sports betting platform. One guy has a, a permissioned uh, storage platform for medical records. Somebody else was building a fractionized real estate app, had it on testnet, was able to show me on his phone exactly how it works. And two of the three guys that I talked to, they were like literally 21 years old, right? So the, the, the tech can't be that Amazing. big in Cosmos. If amazing. it takes like, fucking two years to make a website, right? So, so just like, just quickly, Joe, like amazing twenty one year olds that will just like yeah. build something that they'll, they'll rug you like in two years time because that they have no sure. business experience. It's it's amazing. Like more more of that stuff. It's incredible. I mean, I mean, he was able to speak to some of what I was asking and all that, but but the point is, uh, let's take a chain like DYDX. They're coming over. They're going to use this nice free Cosmos tech that's not monetized in any fucking way that returns absolutely no value back to the core um, stack or the token. And they want absolutely nothing to do with IBC. They might not even enable IBC. We don't know, right? They might only enable IBC with, you know, have channels with certain chains if it only if it benefits them. And I think I think that's the problem that I don't know how it can be solved unless somehow you put little taxes and fees around the parts of the ecosystem where people are actually willing to pay those taxes and fees. Um, but I don't see, you know, you look at Juno, everyone's been telling me for like a year that Juno has the best platform. It's the best tech, blah, 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 blah. It might be for the builders, right? I have no idea, but 99% of the people who are going to hold tokens when it's all said and done are not going to build. They're not going to know anything about code. Like you said, they're not going to even want to, my grandmother uses Facebook on her iPad. She has no idea how the fucking internet works, but she somehow she manages to, to use those, to use Facebook flawlessly, right? People have to be able to get around Cosmos. And when you mention that the devs are like, Oh yeah, yeah, we know, we know, we know, but there's no movement. I don't think to actually make that happen. You have coin landing page, building something really nice for users like me, Timmy, building something nice for users like me um the most recent fight and the buzzword is tokenomics tokenomics are horrible but that's because nothing's monetized in the ecosystem so the developers have to monetize in other ways they raid the community pools the validators work together to make sure the community pools get spent to benefit them you look at the grants program right the accelerator dow i'm sure if we went through all the applications we would find tons of conflict of interest and in people paying their friends you know, it's that's how cosmos works cosmos was not built for the long run 
It was built around the net. Joe, the, the, Joe, the, the, yeah, but Joe, I'm sure, I'm sure though you missed uh, TFM, the TFM bridge there when you were talking about your grandma and the iPad and blah blah blah. Oh, I think oh, TFM is one of the greatest things to come along for a long time. Yeah. Bad job by me. It just doesn't work on my computer. So good for them. They build something that most people can use except for me. Um, but yeah, no, I've used TFM. The bridge is nice. I can't use their, the NFT platform's a little rough, to be honest with you. If you want my, my opinion, it does not work on my computer at all. So, uh, but I could see the beginnings of actual useful dashboard for NFTs. But again, you know, how come they can come in and build something so fast when Juno's had NFTs for basically a year and I have to go to four different platforms to see all my different NFTs because they were launched off different apps, right? Why can't I see them all? They're on the same chain. Why does TFM have to build that? That should have been done. Cronkats, fucking Cronkats. Yeah, even went, we had, no, Cron, sorry, Timmy, Cronkats, did, Cronkats went after fucking TFM the other day for like creating so many channels, didn't they? I'm like, bro, calm down. Not, not Cronkats, Crosnest. Crosnest, not Cronkats. Oh, sorry, bro. No, sorry, bro. I got that one wrong. Fucking hell. Cheers, Timmy. Hello, mate. Similar Finn, names. Make sure, make sure you take care of that in editing, Finn. We don't want any... <laughs> Sorry, guys, I dropped out for a second there. Uh, did did we, Rama... we thought you went to bed? We thought you went to bed at last. <laughs> oh, you did. All right. Were you making jokes about me? Of course. Yeah. Around... So just... You were I, making I, jokes. I... About... Please don't make jokes about me. May you know? I interject? Um, back to a topic that I'd like I, to talk to. I was going to say I, I would really like to just get Rama and Robo to hash out their beef. So we don't that's what, yeah, that's, yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what I, I would like that too. And if, if they could, if they could somehow at the same time find common ground in insulting neutron and soy, I think that would be the best thing for everyone. Oh, right I, I, I feel like, I feel like you're just like that, you're making it too easy. It, like, I I'm, agree. I'm happy to, if I might say <laughs> one thing, 20 shit. Timmy, to come on, Timmy, one, come on, no. mate. Like, it, we, you know, like, I think we can all agree with you. We don't need Timmy's input into this. I'm joking. Go ahead. Timmy, please go ahead. I was. Fucking... I muted him. Fuck with him. I got muted. <laughs> I, <got muted. laughs> I think <laughs> everyone. I was like, nope. Muted. I was like, I was shitting on you, like taking the piss, and someone muted you. Terrible host. Uh, sorry, this, before this, you guys do the this... beef, I, I just wanted to introduce. We brought Hey Sava here. Uh, I introduced her to the Cosmos ecosystem. This is her first. Uh, Amazing. This is going to be incredible uh, for her. This is, yeah, welcome. Um, Thank you. H A I S A V A uh, from Scotland, I think. So we have like a kind of someone that's brand new here that's like really excited about the, the potential blockchain. So, so yeah, let's, really, let's, let's, Arma, Robo, like hash out your beef to, to show what this ecosystem can do. Or, or don't. Maybe no, do it no, in the end, and no, maybe let's not. We, we, we uh, do it. That. Yeah. So let, we tried that. Let's go. Lead the way, Mister Robo. Rama, you just spent so long talking about how nobody cares about this, and it's a waste of time. Tinderman, Tinderman, Timmy. Like he's the one that said it, not me. He just I'll everyone just agreed. He just spent like. Okay, so I'm muting everybody because, like, I want to say something. So this is what I want to say. Um. You know, as you all know, I had a little, I had a little, you know, disagreement with the way Robo did something. But me and him talked about it in front of everybody and we handled it. And yes, it was recorded. And yes, it showed a week. Uh, it, it, made, it made me feel like a little weak but, and um, exposed, but I did it anyway. And then we moved past it. Right. So sometimes when something happens in a public way, um, going and like saying, hey, you know, this publicly happened. We want to like kind of like publicly say we're, you know, all good or, or we're we're working on things or whatever, because it's just, you know, it was already in the public eye. And, you know, why not just get get it taken care of instead of like there be like any kind of misinformation or misdirection? Everybody heard the same thing. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping. Everyone's been unmuted now. Sorry. It was purely a thought. I'm interested in hearing the beef. It just stuck yeah. out stuck out from, to me how hypocritical it sounded. We're, from we my perspective, this, this space has been going on for about an hour and a half, I think. This has been one of the best spaces I've been in for so long until Timmy joined. And so I'm thinking that maybe Timmy and I start beef and that he and I can sort that out 
two or three weeks later. Uh, but for now, months, he and I stay months, quiet. Months later, yeah, months a couple months. Come but for now, he and I stay quiet, and then you guys, you guys do your beef today. We'll do our beef later. That's my my proposal. All right, I'm gonna signal. start. I'm gonna start planning my insults. I like it. Signal, listen, signal listen. says listen. we'll sort our beef in like two to three weeks. But Rama and Robo's waiting two to three months. But never mind, fellas. Never mind. You go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Um. On, on that note, uh, I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to leave this, Robo, unless you would like to, because I feel like uh, the floor's yours, unless you want me to lead it. It's up to you, mate. Shall I tell you, bro? Months ago, I got fucking sick of division. Months ago, I fucking I mean, it's still fucking happening. We're still seeing it, but you know, certain people need to be called out for the thing. And I'm almost home, by the way. Certain people need to be fucking called out for certain things in the industry. That's never changed. It never fucking will do. But, like, if you just look at the fucking bridges, like, that we try to build with, like, Gelotto and fucking Risby and the team and stuff like that, like, that, that for me, like, the Gelotto moment was, like, the proper moment where it was, like, you know, Robo, like, just put it down, step back, give up, like. But, uh, you know, Ram, I've said this before. I said this to b Bands the other week. I mean, b Bands and I had a real, real heart-to-heart, soul-to-soul, like, proper... Bad, I was so like live online in front of fucking everybody, and it's recorded. I like, I still feel a bit shit about that, but I said to her, can, can I, did, can I, I said, No, no, Rama, can I, Rama, can I give no, you an no, analogy? No, no, you, no, no. you you give me an analogy earlier. I honestly sometimes, and I don't know, it's not you lot, it is just me general life or whatever, but I feel like I'm this fucking bear in a cage, you know, and people just fucking can port me when they want and they know like what's going to happen. like. And I didn't want to be the bear in the cage, you know what I mean? I want to be the friendly one in the forest eating the honey and chilling there like Paddington. You're not Paddington bear. That's the bear I want to be. I didn't want to be the cunt in the fucking cage in fucking Ukraine getting prodded off the sharp stick. I didn't like that. And I didn't know. I didn't take, like, oh, man, I'm not good. I'm not good with fucking, right. what's it called? I'm, I'm, temper, gonna, anger I'm management, gonna that shit. In. I'm going to jump okay. in, right? Because okay. I, I feel, I, I know you well enough, and I've known you for, like, what, two years now? Maybe three? I've known you yep. since before my child was born, basically, like, like almost to the fucking day. And this is the first time I've spoken about this, and it's a recorded space, and it's not going to get deleted like the other one. Not, I'm not sure. I'm not like throwing jabs, right? I'm not here to fucking throw jabs. It's not my intention. I, I get it, Robo. I fucking do, and I understand like the the angst and the the the, the shit that you've gone through. My my biggest thing is. And it, it, it's going to fucking suck, like, in front of all these people in a recorded space, and I don't fucking care that, like, it's on a rack FM or whatever, right? Talking to you man to man, there's no one else here but me and you. And this is what I tried to do, like, months ago, is I consider you, like, one of my best mates. I really did. And there was a situation that happened. Did. And you said you used the word did. As in no, past no, there. no, and, and, did, as in... no, no, and and there's a listen to me, and there's a reason for that is because when you have you have trust and you have respect until you don't, and you that the actions that you've taken over the last few months, without even reaching out to me personally, you've lost those things, right? So you need to trust and respect is earned, and until you. When you lose them, you lose them. And when you earn them back, you earn them back. And until then, you don't have them. That's just how it is. And yeah, there was a falling out. And there was a very, very big misunderstanding of a certain situation, which was so fucking small in the scheme of like what we were trying to build as a community. So small. And not one time did you like, Reach out no, you're the using ends. you're using the wrong word. You're using the word small. The word is fucking benign. That's the word it, you're looking for. It's it, it it's t- it, like the falling out. If, if you if you DM'd, well, me let me time, go there. Let me go there. Go okay, on, the, go, go I, did, no, I did. I did. I did this with Excuse me. Excuse me can I be a for, um, Robo, can I be a moderator for this conversation? Wait a minute, because this is relevant. Be, yes, I, yeah, I but, understand. Let, let Ben be the moderator, and I'll shut up. But okay. Rama stopped because he knows this is relevant. Uh, Rama, listen, this is what I'm going to say. This is what I've said publicly to B Barnes, right? I mean, I had a call with her for quite a long time about this, right? 
Right, where I come from, if your homies have got beef, you do not fucking get involved. That, 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 that's it. That, that, there's just a line in the fucking sand. I'm sorry. It might be like, like whatever. We're all products of our environment. But all I've ever known is that like when your homies have got like beef, you shut the fuck up, you take a step back, you certainly didn't pick a side because there's a good chance that like your homies are going to make up in the future and then you're going to look, you know, not so good in like one eye. It's like, that's my fucking point. I felt at the time, I felt like the dispute, I mean, listen, bro, if you just shut the fuck up and let us get on with it, I do think we'd have resolved this in like 48 to 72 hours. So I really I got upset. You to... can, you can, but I, you understand. Like, I got I up, I'm like, though, right? like, okay, yeah, yeah, of I, course. I, I, I never saw this as beef. Like, I, I never did, right? So let's let's get to the core of it. And I'm happy well, to be... what about the no, audience? Hey, what hey, what hey, about hey, the audience? Hey, 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 what about the audience that don't know? You need to stop, Robo. Robo, you need to stop and you let him finish. Yeah, and then once speak. Rama's done speaking, you guys give it a second or two, and then the next person speak, please. Yeah, and, and I'm. Hey, wait. I'll, people... I'll just say, as a audience member and someone who's close to both of you, I don't even know what the beef is. Yeah, like, I, I don't even know what, what like, and I'm pretty okay. close okay. to you. Guys. We I love you, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm about to get to the core of it, and I'm happy for interjections, right? And if some, if I hear someone speak, I'll shut up because this is a very like the core thing at that was very integral to the group that we had and the community that we had that was very tight knit. And it, it's from from my side of things, it's such a nothing burger that I it it's it and this is what I like I want to understand and I, I don't I don't understand how it became this big thing, right? So uh the, the whole thing and Robert feel free to like take it back a step, but but we had the whole corporation thing, which was like community orientated, community focused. Um, the intention was like, well, uh, well I, there was just like, I created some fucking PFPs of like animal heads on PFPs that was like, it was lapping on like. Right. Okay. No, no, no. Rama, you said, listen, I didn't want to be that guy, but wait, I'm right. going to come in here and I'm, yeah, very right, quickly. I said, in interject anytime. I, I'm so going to, I'm going to, yeah. Guys, basically what I did is I, I put up the tweet that we were going to put up a prop on Juno and I went ahead and I put up a, a signal and prop on Commonwealth about funding and I didn't consult anybody. Basically, I didn't say it to people, oh, like, I'm not going to put any names on here or whatever, like, like I fucked up. The, is, is the, the root, you talk about everything else from like the previous stuff, whatever. The root of the problem or the heart of the problem, the actual thing is, is that I went public with fucking stuff without going into like a group chat and properly conferring with people and blah, blah, blah. I played that entirely wrong. Now, Gaines is obviously, you know, with Cosmos Spaces and the validators and, you know, he's got to take like a different like stance. Like it's all right coming on Rack FM and shit talking and blah, blah, blah. But the minute I want to go in front of an L1 and talk about fun or something, like, I can understand the mindset that, like, whoa, you've got to think differently. I didn't get that. I made a pleb move. Then there was a reaction to my pleb move. And then can I, I way I, overreacted. I, wait, I, re I way overreacted to the reaction. Now, let, let's I, be honest, Rama. I, I overreacted. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm Rama's to interject turn. here, which is, I think, is a part that you're missing. So, and, and this is what I, I spoke to you about this on a spaces. I, I, I don't know or care if it was recorded. I remember Gaines saying uh, about him not wanting to be part of that proposal, which is fine, like whatever he's got going on, right? Like whether I knew about him like having other adventures or Cosmos Spaces and all that sort of stuff. That's like his thing, right? For me as a community member on two other sub DAOs, approaching Juno for funding to be part of Rack FM on two sub DAOs. It's a terrible look, and I'm not interested in like taking more Juno from the community to support community growth. And so, the, the part of the messaging that I sent when Gainsey put his message out of, "Hey, I don't want to be part of this funding prop, but we will both support the Rack FM movement." So the thing was, Gainsey said, "I will support this prop. I don't want to be named in it, and we will be hosts, or I will be hosts." And I'll be on the show and we'll do all the things for free. Don't want to be paid. I put the same message in there saying, 
I will do the same thing, but I can't be paid for this stuff. And I don't want to be paid for this stuff. I'm on the delegations now. I'm on the growth now. Do not put me on this prop and pay me, like try to get me paid for being part of Rack FM because I'm already paid from the community or potentially paid from the community because I'm on these sub DAOs. And the whole thing was from that, it was like, put a prop up, pay Rack FM, here are the members. Gains is part of Cosmos Spaces. He's got some other things going on. I'm part of two sub DAOs already. I don't want to be paid for Rack FM because I don't want to double dip or triple dip into the community. But I still want to be a host. I still want to be part of Rack FM. I still want to be a part of the shows. And the messages that we got in the group chat that we had, it was so demeaning and so demoralizing and so... I'm I'm trying to like take it. I'm trying to think on it. It is like it was so out of. I I, I can't put a word to it. Right, like what what you sent to me specifically, and it was addressed to me, Joe. I don't care about your hand right now. Um, it was addressed to me, and you specifically like said my name and like that I had been paid previously from Notional, which I had and I was open about and I had communicated to the community. And I was like, I don't fucking care about that money, right? Like what I want to do is like add value to the community and I want to do that in the best way that I can. And the messages that you sent because, hey, maybe I've been paid from Notional or I'm on sub DAOs and all of a sudden I don't want to be paid by the community through Rack FM. It was so demoralizing and demotivating that I was like, like, what am I, like, how do I win in this situation with my friends, which is you, Bands, Brasco, Ambito, et cetera, but also like be part of the community. Like I wanted to be part of the sub DAOs because I wanted to represent the community. And what you were saying to me in those messages was like, I, I, I don't know. It was. Well, I mean, listen, I'm not going to, um, listen, I, I want to have this fucking man or man or conversation fucking right, I do, of course I do, and I am home, by the way. Uh, I mean, dude, though, like, I've got fucking, you know, DMs going back, though, like, uh, pretty much, like, almost, like, three months before this situation that we're talking about, where, like, it's talking about, clearly talking about monetizing spaces. Of like, course, like the like, monetizing yeah, spaces conversation yeah, I, I, was happening I'm a long not, time ago. Bullshit, right? So, like, yeah, there was a message right. in, like, it was like, hey, we can use the corp to fund Rack FM, right? That was a, that was a direct. Message I'm talking that, way before, dude. I'm talking way before this, man. I'm not yeah. talking about conversations. No, I'm, not, I'm not talking about conversations no, no, with so, you, dude. Sorry, I'm talking about conversations with other people about monetizing spaces. Uh -huh, so I'm saying, and, and I'm I was, talking about conversations that, in right? December. I'm talking. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking about conversations in December, right? With people relevant to conversation about monetizing space, right? That's all I'm saying. Yeah, like, no, and, like and also my, it, and it makes sense. my thing was you guys can't talk over each other because it's Sorry. not good. People can't hear. Isn't is it? Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Rack FM, not about the individuals. Though. Wasn't it about the collective, not the individuals? I thought. Like I thought everybody got that idea that was the collective, not the like. I thought that was the thing. I don't know. I got that one wrong. So Norm? my my understanding of Rack FM was Rack FM was built by a community collective on standing up against like the quote unquote um uh, no it wasn't no it wasn't it was built by you and i fuck well, all that it, shit it, talk it all you want uh, you and i from, like stinky in the brain right like exactly ultimately, it came from that right and fuck yeah like we, we we built that thing and then we built we brought more people into it and we built into a community thing right that's like ultimately that's what it was and that's what it became to be and finn had the idea of making it more official more professional more structured and i was on board with it i was like fuck yeah like what a great idea what a great thing to do and it turned into this thing where we're like fucking six eight hours a night <laughs> every single weekend where we're hosting spaces, which was good from a community perspective. And we had a great time. And then as soon as it became like this, like every single day of the week thing, which was fucking amazing. 
and we bought people that could do those things into it, it was like we we like it took over, right? Like everyone was like Rack FM this, Rack FM that. It was like you know Rug FM, Rack FM, um, for the culture, and it was amazing. Everyone had a good time. Everyone enjoyed it. And as soon as like this kind of funding question came into it, it felt like it got like really awkward. And I have no like interest in like. Was I wrong ultimate... though? Wait a minute. Was I wrong? I know you on these sub there with some blah blah blah. Was I wrong to want to like get like I, I wanted fucking Ambedo pain. I wanted Brasco pain. You know, like no, like I, I, I mean, I, I just want I, people I, pain. Rather they're doing fucking hard long fucking hours for fucking what for the culture man? Like literally, I, that's I, the I thing. Pay people, you know. Like, no, I, and and this is like I think this is like the fundamental thing that like I'm so disappointed that it turned out this way is that fundamentally, the people that were involved in it agree with you that like the you know Ambedo, Brasco, you know you um other people that were like hosts and artists and stuff like whoever didn't have other involvements in other projects or like other ways of being funded were on board and everyone was like loving it and- yeah but but rama when you when you get a dm and it's like didn't put my name on that prop you got like dude you're gonna react like yeah, yeah. It, it, not every action like gets a reaction you know we know that's saying off snatch right but like I, I, I totally agree. Like, I went OTT. I'm putting my hands up and I'm totally seeing that, right? But what I'm seeing is, is like, you know, there's a little bit of context. There's a little bit of nuance to, to everything. We've all had a part to play, right? It's not like fucking, you know, everyone else is squeaky clean and there's any Rob or fucking bad man Rob or like, you know, Trump. Uh, but what I'm saying is, is like, yeah, like at the root of it, I'm probably, you know, the main fucking antagonist, blah, blah, blah. But what I am saying is that, like, you know, there's no smoke without fire is all I'm kind of saying. That, that's all well, I want to say. So, I'm, I'm, you know me, I try to, like, look at this, like, impartially. So, and you I know, know you do. It's, 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 what, what are we in, like, four months now, right? Like, like financially, what, what are we to gain from this? Like, absolutely fuck all in the scheme of things, right? Dude, it's killed me, man. It's killed me. I, I, I'm, only, I, I, I'm only sport you once. It's killing I me. I don't fucking care about like a couple hundred USD, right? What I care about is like, I, I'm so disappointed and upset about like how this whole thing transpired. So like- Do you not think hey, my fucking heart's been breaking like? Do you not? Can, 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 like, let, let, let me speak, right? So um, as an Australian, and I think if you spoke to this earlier, and I'm going to speak to this as an Australian, is that if one of my mates is- and, and I'm aware of it and I'm in the same chat and one of my mates is like saying some shit that like is towards or against or like upsets another mate, I'm going to step in and be like, oi, pull your fucking head in, right? And I don't care who it is, who you are, what you are. I'm going to be like, oi, I think that you're not like, you're not going about this the right way. Here is facts here is the info have a look at what you're doing and what you're saying and sort yourself out and i tried to do that on space like shortly after it happened i i remember jumping on a spaces space sorry finn with (laughs) sorry finn (laughs) yeah sorry finn um and i was like like i I vividly remember being just like robo you're wrong like this is not what is happening like we're not trying to shut down the funding. What we're trying to say is we want to support Rack FM and we want to support the people who are putting in the work behind the scenes. But Gaines and I, two of us out of like six or seven, have other opportunities or other things that we're being funded from that we're not comfortable being funded through Rack FM. We'll do it for free. We want to support. Yeah, Rack but FM. that wasn't we how the conversation to... went. That wasn't it's, how the conversation that's, that's went. Let's be the fair. messages. Let's... That's literally the messages. Post the screenshots. I've, I I know exactly what I said. I'm part of two sub DAOs. I don't. That might have been after. That FM. might have been after Rama. That nope. might have been post, in the post, event. Listen, post, hey, post, hey, can I can post. I say something real quick as a moderator? Um, let's remember like the really meat and potatoes of this conversation and not look for like other little things to be right or wrong on. Let's just try to have this conversation and resolve it. 
um like uh, you know what i mean guys can we get games up can we get games up or what are like gnz come on son. no i i no i sent him a message he's too he's busy working right now so he can't talk so wait is he still on night shift is he Fuck no he's working uh, he's working at stargaze right now so he's a little oh, oh, oh god <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's not building what? planes you mean he's not designing no, you planes, guys are laughing right? at me but that's the message i got no no i, I was taking okay it. oh okay <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> I hope I hope he's keeping right, his fucking, to... I hope he's keeping his fireworks in a safe place. Did you see all those motherfuckers he had in the boot of the van? Jesus Christ, he's starting World War Three, and he got more fucking nukes in Iraq. That cunt. Yeah. So you know, I think uh, I, I don't you know I appreciate trying to change the topic, but I think we need to get like the core of this right. Um, for, for myself personally, and I'm gonna like talk some talk straight now. Um, and, uh, please don't interrupt if, if that's okay. Uh, I know I haven't done exactly the right things, right? So, uh, when the situation happened, I probably could have reached out to you, Robo, directly and been like, Hey, I don't like how you're talking about me or like what's happening, etc." Didn't go about that exactly the right way. Uh, I'm not a fan of conflict. I'm not a fan of, um, you know, that kind of dialogue. It's not who I am. Uh, th- my job is like resolving conflict and like working forward. Uh, left it for way too long, definitely. Um, I spoke to some people in DMs about your like certain tweets that you've put out that I know are directly related to me and. I know are about me. Um, I'm not going to name names because of privacy and stuff. Um, I definitely have not created any form of like rack FM boycotts or anything of that nature. Um, when I got voted out of the DAO, I said that good luck, like well wishes to the DAO, and I genuinely mean that. Like I think rack FM crew and the rack FM members, you've got a really good crew. You could have can have can do amazing things um i said i'd never join the spaces again got asked multiple times the only reason i joined tonight was because i got asked many times come and join it get it over and done with which i think is the good thing um between you and i robo i think uh i'm super disappointed that we couldn't resolve it between each other and uh, you know, man to man, we tried to do that several times between the groups, and didn't happen. But uh, here we are, right? What was the Basically. Rama? Rama, can I can yeah. I can I ask a question? Go ahead. What was the what was the fucking right FM mission though, bro? It was just to build culture, wasn't it? That's all we wanted to do, wasn't it? Build culture. Yeah, and, and I think, how, how did um, we get away from what we were like? Our goal, our mission, like I don't know, dude. It's it's a tough world out there in Web3, that's all I will say, dude. No, and I think um, I think this is like part of where my message to bands and, um, you know, perhaps my, my own self where I didn't get involved enough, right? And it's recorded, so I, I love this because you need to be open and honest about these things, right? So Rack FM was supposed to be built around the community for the community and bringing the real shit to the community right and when i messaged bands what was it like a few months ago and i was like hey like you know uh some of the stuff that you were saying specifically and i'm gonna like say you because i think it's relevant it was like and i messaged i was like hey like you know, i think these things aren't true oh, i'll not deny it i'll not deny no, no, it no, no, i'm not I'm saying not you will right like it's there's no like you know um you know, some of this stuff is like it's. Uh, I was, I think the the my wording was very poor, and I was like, "Hey, uh, I'm glad that this is stuff that you're happy to be associated with, uh, knowing what you know, right?" And that's very poor messaging from my behalf. And when I woke up the next morning, I think it was like 10, 11 p.m. or something. I woke up the next morning and I was like heading to swimming with my kids, and I messaged bands and I was like, "Hey, um, can we please have a call?" Because I felt bad about what I said. And I said, and she was like, yep, sure. And I explained to her, I was like, hey, 
what I said in text was very, very shit. Like that's not like what I meant at all. What I was trying to say was that the messaging that Rack FM and yourself on some of your tweets is turning people away from joining into the Rack FM and community, right? And there was very specific messaging, like um, some of the stuff around, like, tell me to show up anytime, but like some of the stuff was like around like uh, women from Cosmos and like being like clickbait or whatever, right? And I was like, that's not like, that's not how you build a community and that's not what Rack FM was for. But that's oh, coming from the- by the way, by the way, though, that, and if Joe was here, Joe would come in and like, I'd, I'd write, okay, I do apologize about that, but that's me and Joe like going at each other and having a laugh. Like, and yeah, I yeah, do no, apologize no, if that was misconstrued by people. But like, if Joe was here, if Joe would come in and say, nah, nah, nah. Like, that, like the correct we have in the DMs, it was just completely different to what you think you see like online. So yeah, I do apologize. No, was- so like, I, I, like and that's fine the the problem is is that the wider community doesn't see the dms right so if you're trying to build a community around uh, an account such as rack fm and this is like what i tried to get through to b bands in the voice call that we had was what you're trying to build is a brand of rack fm and every single person associated with that brand is associated and tied to that brand so your actions and your words and what you do and what you say is associated and tied to that brand. So if you um, devalue a certain community member, such as Women from Cosmos, who is a very valued and respected community member who has earned her place in the community, it devalues what you're trying to build. And my message to bands in the original message of like, I'm glad you support this. It was very poor. And I admitted that and I apologized for that. I jumped on the call as soon as I could and said, sorry, I that's not that. what I meant. Yeah, I and, and, I was like, and I was like, that's not what I meant. And I, I think we spent like an hour, Ben, like talking about it and being like, sorry. But I, I but I, you know, but you know that I, I think I kind of, I understood what you were saying. I wasn't upset. Hmm. We weren't upset yeah, on the yeah. phone. And it was more like the first thing that I did was like, I tried to message you and reach out and chat to, to you about it specifically. And like, admit to it because me as a person, I was like, that's not what I meant. And I wanted to clear it up and speak to you directly about it. So when, um, and what I was trying to oh, say. Oh, Rama, like, she came after me. I mean, bro, let's not, I mean, b no, came no, on the I, space I, fucking I, foreman. I mean, just, she was I I so angry with me, man. Correct. And I, I, I don't want to go there. Like, so what I was trying to get to is like, Myself as a person is like, if I have a conflict and I have an issue now, what I'm going to do is like address it and just like get to it, talk to it, which is what we're doing now. And I realized that with bands was like, the only way you can deal with this stuff is to talk to it and be open and honest about it. And I tried to do that with you. You know, we tried to schedule the, the call within the rack group, etc. And here we are now. But- can I can I can I can I say on this point though, and I do really want to say this, and and I hope my mate down there saying with his uh, you is it yeah yeah or yo yo? I'm not too sure. Yeah yeah or something, yeah. right? Isn't it? Yeah yo, is that one? Yeah yo. Uh, I, I I did reach out by DM. Like, uh, I mean, it probably might not have been like the best DM actually in the world when I think back, but I was like, I did reach out by DM. Like, and I do understand why I got blank. Uh, totally and utterly like fine like I, I might have been I probably would have been the same myself like but yeah I did I did try to reach out shortly after by DM to kind of like say you know I'm sorry like uh, I, like I, that wasn't me intention or blah 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 but I thought this is where like kind of the, I mean I misread I misread many things that's can, that's can, a can big I, issue is I, I did misread really like, but Rama wait a bit right. I'm can glad that you said. I'm glad. I'm glad you said. But let him, um, Robo. Let him ask this question yeah. real quick. Just, just, you sorry, guys are. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, B events. You, you mentioned you reached out to Gaines, and I and I respect that, and that's fine. And if Gaines wants to come up and speak to that, that's okay. Yeah, but I don't think it was the best DM. I could have done better. No, no, and and that's fine. Um, what I'd like to say is, I, I consider you one of my best mates, right? And we 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 had a falling out, whether we liked it or not. You never DM me one time to like chat, to jump into a call, to talk about it, to express your feelings or your emotions or your displeasure or your uncomfort or whatever. 
Not one time did you DM me in any format on in any way. And Rama, I was fucking forming. I apologize, but I was, dude, I was fucking, I didn't know why I was forming at the fucking time. Like, like, mm, bad move, you know? But, but, and, I, and, and like, I, I get that, right? But, like, the, the like, the follow up tweets that I know are, like, about me, like, that was, it was super, like, hurtful, man. Like, and I'm just being straight with you, right? Like, I consider you, like, one of my best mates. And, uh, like, I know when you, like, subtweet me and when you, like, tweet about that stuff. And, it's I I know when it's about me and that's like the the one time that I damned bands about it and I was like hey like this is about me and I don't like this and this isn't cool um and that's like when it kicked off the whole like it, and it took bands to like sorry I did that Rama it, I am I'm I'm it, I'm I'm, it, I'm, so I'm like, not actually sorry I'm I'm not actually sorry I'm like slightly ashamed because I do know that I did go OTT but like I say so, man. So, the bear in the cage, I, you know. Robo, hold up, hold up. So, like, what what I want to say is, like, I'm I'm sorry to bands that I put her in that position, right? And I've already apologized to her in a voice call because it shouldn't be her place to do that or say that shit, right? And um, I expect I, lo- I lost my that- shit over that, Rama. I lost my shit over that. My bad mind. And your woman put me in my fucking place as well, mind. She's like, who the fuck are you to speak about me, like? Speak up. You think I need you, you daft little cunt? Shut the fuck up. I can fucking take care of me fucking self. I felt so humble that night. Rama? Yeah. So uh, for me, it's like I finally got talked into coming here and to talk about it. And I think it's good that we have. Um, the biggest thing for me is I think. Um, Will you ever trust me again, will you? Can you trust me or not? I think that's an important question right now. Maybe you can't. Because, like, trust is one of those things, isn't it? That's, like, like quite weird, like... Trust, trust is earned. And I think uh, I trust that a lot of the Rack FM team in general. And I think there's a few people within the Rack FM team that I trust currently. Um, and I think it's very hard to earn trust. And uh, from a team that I'd spend a lot of time with in like DMs and group chats and stuff, for the the wider team to like vote me out of a DAO without any of them messaging me directly to ask, and I'm not like holding this as grudges, right? Like B Benz knows this, so I'll talk to her. That wasn't day. them though. That wasn't no, them. That was no, me. No. Like um, I pushed that no, vote no, on them. I, I, no, let me finish. Right. I talk to B bands every now and then, and she knows that I don't hold any grudges. And I think uh, a lesson for DAOs in general is that uh, reach out to members of your DAOs to discuss like where they're at, what position they're in, what their thoughts are, and and like we're all learning this stuff, right? Like no no one in this chat has been through this shit before. No one, right? So. Um, if you're actively in a, in any form of like DAO, community DAO, like official DAO, whatever the fuck DAO you're in, no one actually cares, right? At the end of the day, no one really cares. Like talk to each other, like reach out in the DMs, have commu- have like group calls, discuss this shit internally, because if you don't discuss it internally, like eventually, we all know it. Like I think people like shit on Don as much as they do, but like, he, like, he speaks the truth. Like, the truth will eventually come true. And Elon tweeted it the other day. It was like, the most entertaining outcome will happen. And if you don't realize that by now, then what are you doing in this space? Ultimately. If you, if you hadn't been such fucking good fucking friends, do you think I would have fucking gave a fuck? No, nah, I wouldn't have. And then that's any excuse or no fucking rationale or reasoning or anything like that. So like, like... I, I do like um real quickly want to say something. Um I had already put it out there that uh what Rama said about reaching out to team members is smart, even if um even if you're like assuming that somebody's doing something. And I just I apologize to Rama about assuming that conversations were being had because I was 
trying to use common sense and thinking that they were discussing things on their own. You know what I mean? They've been friends before me and before I came into the picture, but don't assume, make sure that you find out where people's he heads are at and you know, what's going on before, especially if you're in a DAO with your friends, <laughs> you know what I mean? And people that you are always around. But yes, Rama, I 100% agree with you. The DAO, the DAO decision so quickly and so abruptly was a very fucking like ill-advised move. And by ill-advised, I mean me advising me fuck himself. And to be fair, like Rama kind of like, I'm not going to say like I pushed it down their throats, but like I kind of did. And within like 24 to 48 hours, dude, I was getting some cold shoulders and fucking hard questions. Like, just so you know, like after, after the event, like, b like what, what what did i fucking vote for there like like what what the fuck like it wasn't a fucking good situation rama just to let you know like i mean i even said things last week on the fucking pod space and got a check in the rock fm group chat to fucking try to watch me fucking behavior in my tongue you know well i think like fud, fud space is perfect for that right like if, if you're like identifying it as a fud space the the expectation is that it's fud and everyone understands that it's fud and like you look at that and you laugh at it and you go that's banter, right? Um, everything leading up to that, for, for me personally, um, is I, I never saw it as fud. And the way I understand banter, that like I know that like yourself and, and the raccoon community that I was once part of and noticed the language once part of was like it was all about like banter and having fun and like, you know, shit talking people and uh, enjoying ourselves, right? Yeah, but doesn't and, that and change when you start talking about money, though? Doesn't it? That's that's what fucking that's that that's the mad thing and, about all oh, the money. The minute finance is involved, that fucking the can, conversation changes. Can I can I finish real quick, right? So of course, when when like, you're shit talking people and you're having a good time and it's like it, it's okay, right? Like I get it. It's like hey, you're having a good time and it's fun. Like finances in the scheme of what we're talking about is fucking nothing. Right, like all of like my my job, I get paid like one hundred and sixty, one hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year. I don't fucking care about a few thousand dollars a year in crypto. I really don't. Right. So when when you put out tweets like, oh, he he fucking he he gave up or like he sold his soul for like a few quid or whatever, like I don't fucking care about crypto money. Like the amount of time and money that I put into the work that I do for Juno or for Dow Dow or whatever the fuck I put my time and effort into, it pales in comparison what I could earn in my real job, right? So that stuff when like it's tweeted out on like, you, you put that on blast and then you say it on spaces and that sort of stuff. Like, it, like as, a, as a mate, that's, it hurts me, man. Like I, I'm like, I'm a dude who fucking has a family and I, ha I, I have a job that earns good money in Australia and I'm earning like twenty dollars US an hour to fucking put in a few hundred hours of work for fuck all money in crypto, and I get paid in Juno, which is worth thirty five cents. Like, it doesn't fucking matter to me in the scheme of my life. I do it because I want to try and add value to the Juno community and the Juno ecosystem. Right? Wasn't that like, our, our ethos from day one, though? Isn't that how it all fucking started, no? It was I'm not sure what... no, no. I just mean that, like, when we started, though, like, uh, uh, crypto. You can people can say it's always about the money, but it was never about the fucking money with us. It was always wait, wait. about so, like finding out what was happening next, like being ahead of the. It pack. definitely cannot be about the money because my ass has been here for a long time. <laughs> and I don't fucking know about no money like, that people like, are talking about. What I, the I fuck? Don't wanna, like, I don't, I just, sorry, Ben. I I don't want to like drive it in or anything, right, Robo? But like, that's my whole point. Is like, and. I don't want to get to like the core of it and like, you know, I, this is why I want to have this as a private call and not as a space, right? Is because the messaging that you put out and the tweets that you put out that were directly like attacking me and I know that they were about me, right? Is like, it it feels so like direct and direct, like, it is so hurtful and it feels like it's from the heart and it's so painful in a way. and it's like for that i am sorry for that i it, do apologize no, yeah it, it, no no you're right you're right you you are right though Robert, no, hey, no, i know it's Robert, Robert, i think you Robert, should give him a chance to 
You don't no, think I just want to. I just want to say it, Rama. I just, I just want to very quickly. He's right. Make this he's right. Point. He's right. I, I want, I want you to, I want you to. I can't work. move. I, I know. You can mute me anytime. I'm, a, I'm just a speaker. I'm not a co-host. Um. I, oh no, I wasn't. Robert, I was trying to be nice. <laughs> I, I want, I want you, Robo, to. And I'm not saying now, but at some point, like, look at, look inside yourself. And at the actions that you take or you have taken or that you will take at some point, right? And think of how they will benefit you or your friends or your future. And are those things irrational or rational? Because from my perspective, what I've tried to do, and yeah, sure, Timmy, you're, you're here right now, right? I, I shit talked to you, right? When the whole Joe thing happened, I did that. And I was like, I didn't like how you did some of those things. And I should have talked to you about those things, right? I should have man on man talked to you about those things. I learned from that experience and I evolved from that experience. And I didn't do that with Robbo when he did certain things. I, I, I shut my mouth. I, I, I hid away. I walked away from those things. And I didn't get involved in the drama, right? I should have talked to you, man on man, and been like, hey, I don't like some of these things that you're doing. And I tried to, with the corporation, make this a community thing. And I didn't want to be the leader. I didn't want to be the face of it. I wanted it to be a community thing. And the intention was, fuck the nine to fives who do this shit. They leave it. They breathe it. They are the corporate blockchain people. And the corporation was for the community. And then it got turned on me that I grew this massive ego for like 600 US dollars. I don't fucking care about 600 US dollars, right? It's nothing to me in the scheme of my life. And that's the thing that really upset me was like such a small amount of money tried at Robo specifically. You tried to turn that against me as a person in the community. It's so small in my life. I don't fucking care. What I tried to do was like use the Dow Dow platform to promote Juno, to promote Dow Dow, to promote what community can do. And it actually added value to Juno and the community. We've got Chris, we've got Atlas Dow, we've got Rack FM. Those things are real DAOs that the corporation will never be, right? They're groups of people who can build businesses behind them that can add value to a community, to an eco ecosystem. And you try to turn that against me when all I was trying to do was showcase the power of blockchain. Does that make sense? I'm, like, I'm going to shut up. Of course, of course it does. No, no, well said. Well said. Well said. There was a few things in there. Like, I'm like, massive respect. Well said, bro. If you want to, like, counter it, Please do. Like I know. No, like, no, 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 no. Like you're right about there. the tweets, wait. You're right about the tweets. You know, I should learn when not to tweet and when to fucking talk to people in a fucking DM. Like fucking. Yeah, I, I like uh, honestly. And, and, and I, the biggest thing for me is like, sorry, I'll shut up. You speak. Yeah, you from a yeah. Give him a, give no, him a chance. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's he's right though, isn't he? I, I, like I I didn't know what this obsession is with like fucking wanting to fucking just be fucking public instead of like being able to like slip in a dm and like blah 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 like in these kind of situations or whatever you know it's not a fucking not a good look like like I, you know there's a few things rama yeah but like you know i'm gonna be honest dude like this generally speaking re re regardless of like my behavior like afterwards the general concept of the whole idea is actually just a, a very uh, a, just a misread, right? Like you was lot read me wrong, I read you a lot wrong, and it was just like the wrong time I think for it to happen. Actually, with like what was happening at the time and what we were trying to do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, all of those different projects, all the different things that was happening, blah. Like, yeah, man. Like, uh, can we not be like? Isn't isn't it? Are you an adult when you can fucking stand up and say like, yeah, 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 I fucking called that wrong, I called that wrong, I got that wrong, like. like can we both both agree that we're like, and all three of us, or all of us, like we've we've got this wrong at times. Whether you whether it was you for DM and B bands, whether it was me fucking putting these tweets out, which you're totally right about. And I, I, I really resent me 
for the fact that those tweets hurt you like, dude. I do really apologize wholeheartedly for that mind. Because I do know there's some venom sometimes, like, like, and I do apologize for that. But like, where do we go from here, Rama? Will be my question. I mean, I've taught here for countless hours offline. I mean, it, it seems like I can hear in your voice, like Rama, like, like it almost sounds like you've not not give up on me, but like you're pretty much fucking virtually there. Like I didn't know what I can do to get you back, bro. I don't, but whatever it is, I'll do it. Uh. You manning up there, you manning up there. The Timmy though just made me like feel fucking so like fucking no, shit so, insignificant. No, and so, like you saying like like you've learned and you've evolved and, and maybe I haven't, you know? Maybe I might need that bit of guidance to do that. Why know? can't we be friends? Why can't we <laughs> be friends? Listen, you know, uh, he, here's, I just kind of want to, you guys have been talking a little bit. I know there's probably more you want to say, but I do want to say this one thing. I understand uh, trust is earned and, um, you know, also forgiveness is is something that exists too. And you have to decide too sometimes uh, to forgive um, each other or to, to forgive um, whatever is making you upset so that in doing that and you can move on and be better and know, okay, now I know what boundaries I should not be crossing. Now I know both ways, both of us understand, you know, how we should be communicating. Now that that's been established, you know, maybe it's time for like uh, some forgiveness to go between the both of you, you just, know. And, and, and moving, hold on, hold on, let me finish and moving um, forward because <sighs> You know how like somebody does something to you and then you're like, you know what, I, I'm, I'm going to decide to forgive this person and you forgive them. Right. And then after that boundary has been crossed, you can continue being friends and everything's OK. But then there's other people where you do that and they continue to cross those boundaries. Right. They seem like they don't learn. But in this situation, if um, you guys decide to like, OK, we're going to we're going to try this, then, you know, if one of you crosses that boundary again or something like this happens, then you already know that at that point, you know, okay, I, I I need to move on because I'm uncomfortable. But I just wanted to say that because I really like this conversation and I hope that um it continues to go as positively as I think it's going. We are we are two I tell you what, Rama and I are two sides of the same coin. And there's a few where uh, the few there's a few nuances that like I would give to that is uh first of all. Uh, I know Rama fucking like in his early years uh, grew up in quite a rough environment and then created like an amazing like if you listen to his life story about him and his missus and blah blah like the whole crack is like fucking amazing it's like a rags to riches story right myself I'm like the opposite side of that like I grew up in a nice, nice family and then just became a fucking bad boy like I don't know why I don't know what did it also your man's like so analytical like I know he's like quite emotional and I and, and I was speaking from the heart, etc. But normally, you know, he's brain first and heart second, like when he talks like about crypto and everything else. Me, maybe I'm heart first and brain second, you know, I put me big fuck. I told I mean I'm Bedo, is he I'm Bedo still here. Okay. I'm Bedo. Give me a fucking behavior check like last week in the group chat. And I'm like, whoa, okay. If he's gonna come to me and say like Robo, mm, you know, I like, oh fucking hell I walk up a little bit like when your man spoke to me. And uh, I said to him, like, exactly, like, I, I mean, oh, I'm really sorry, you know, I have got a habit of putting my big fucking fat foot in my rather large fucking mouth. But I am going to try, like, I, I'm, I mean, when Rama first met me, he'll tell you, I have tried to curb, but like this recent shit, this. Yeah, man, not good, Rama. I, I just want to drive, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, Rack FM forward in a way where, you know, we can have open dialogue, community discussion. Uh, on recorded spaces as well, though, where uh, I, I, I don't know, Rama. I don't know. Where do, where, Rama, what would you like to happen from here? I'm, I'm all ears and I wish Gaines was here because this would really, like, really sort it out. I know he's busy. I know he's listening. Thanks, Gaines. Thanks, bro. I appreciate you. But, Rama, where would you like to go from here? Yeah, so I think um, from my perspective is, um, you know, short term, uh, I think I made my, my message pretty clear, like uh, respect and trust is earned, not given. And once you lose it, it's, it's gone. You need to kind of earn it back. Um, the second message that I'll say is like, 
as a as a community member when i kind of first got into cosmos and i've made this very clear it was like i i i gave plenty of like shout outs and respect to you know yourself robo for you know uh representing me and promoting myself you know in the twitter space uh, 300 followers that. dude 300 followers i didn't shut up about you you'll never yeah. forget that though will you so uh, let me let me make i my never shut up and did that i wait a minute how many times did i retweet you wait a minute how many i, I, I told people i'm gonna stop tweeting follow this guy can i, I just want to try and deliver my message please um it's not numbers aren't everything right and uh, i'll always respect and um appreciate the support that you gave me and the the way in which you promoted me within the community uh, that's it's never going to disappear right I that's never that changed times. my opinion has never changed and now you might have saw shit on twitter you think my opinion's changed not one i order you're still fucking shoebox you're still fucking rain man are you are you not in my heart in my fucking absolute, never mind all the bullshit and bravado on the Twitter fucking shit. Nah, there's there's not one thing in my fucking heart changed over you, son. All right? Just want you to know that, right? Yeah, thanks. Um, so uh, the, the, the thing for me is that um, there's a lot of time, effort that goes into being a Twitter personality or influencer or whatever, right? Whatever skill set, whatever value you add to the community, all that stuff takes time. And if you get support from various community members to do those things and uh, add value to the community, it should be appreciated regardless of like how or who you're promoting or influencing is the biggest thing that I've learned is taking a step back because Cosmos is, and sorry, I'm repeating a message here. Cosmos is fucking tiny, right? Like, if, if we're shitting on like a subset of the community or a particular project within the community within Cosmos, all we're doing is like detriment, like, it's a detriment to the Cosmos in the wider crypto space. So, and, and it might be like the whole fucking, oh, let's, you know, promote Hopium or whatever, right? Like, no one wants that shit. Like, no one wants, like, oh, we're going to go 100x, right? Let's be real about the conversations, but also promote real builders and real communities and real projects within the ecosystem. But we need to take it outside of the community that we currently live in and the little bubble that we live in. Um, also, I am sorry, though, Rolama. I really want you to know that. You me fucking mate. I'm not gonna say you were. I'm gonna say you are you, you fucking on me best mate in crypto, you know that. Fucking November twenty twenty one we started fucking shit coining on fucking ME fucking CX and all that shit, bro, and the fucking gate fucking dips like that. We go back so fucking far, man. Shame on me. Like like dude, if I made you feel like that fucking man, I'd oh I'm not gonna make excuses, man. I'm fucking not. I'm not Rama. Fucking past it. I, did, I, I, I had this all up with B-Bands the other week, bro. Fucking, yeah. I am sorry, Rama. Please. I, I understand that, like, right now, I'm like, if, like, I, I, if you were here, I'd grab you in a little headlock, no? <laughs> yeah. So, like, the biggest thing for me is, right, like, um, I, I, I think I understand where you're coming from, Robo. I really do. Like, within yourself. Right, like I think that's why we like connected so well and we're, we're so good mates, is because I understand. Like I understand the challenges that you've been through and and the struggles you've been through, and the only way like you kind of work through that is like take a good look within your side yourself, and it's fucking hard, man. Like I get it. Like I've been through it. I really have. Um, take a step back and realize that like the things that I do or the things that I say. And it's going to hurt internally. But if you truly have friends that you trust and respect, they're going to understand it, man. Like, they really are. And unless you can talk to them about it, you're not going to build real relationships. And if you can find those people that you can talk to those things about and express those emotions and those feelings with, 
they're the people that you're going to have like real long standing or long lasting relationships with. And that might have been shit in the past. I get it, right? Um, but without that, what do you what do you got? Like, it's, and I think, and this is why I wanted to fucking do it offline, man. Really, it is. Like, dogs are so. I think it's trusting. more. I think it's more important that it's actually fucking online. I yeah, mean, and and that's fine, right? Like, dogs are so fucking trusting. They're so understanding. They are honest to the fucking bone, right? When you look at them and they look at you, you just fucking know exactly what each other wants, the the trust, the respect. And that's why I think you have such a good relationship between dogs, right? Is because you have a you have your dogs and they they fucking listen to every single word you say, right? And me with my dog until I had a family, it was the exact same thing. And then you have a family and you're like, Well, hang on a minute, now all of a sudden the shit changes. The relationships change. The trust, the respect, the hierarchy changes, right? Like a three-year-old doesn't fucking care about your hierarchy, right? Um, but when you take that into like, uh, like Luca, when you take that into like, Luca, right? <laughs> yeah, when, like when you take that into a crypto space, it's like we're talking to people that we don't really know and understand, right? There's a forty-year-old, there's a twenty-year-old, there's a thirty-year-old, there's a fucking a master's in a business degree. There's a master's in an economics degree, and they're going to be way and smarter. Then the, then there's Sefi, and then there's Sefi. <laughs> it's a fucking doctor, right? Who's sitting on a million dollars worth of fucking fiat who can deploy in any cryptocurrency and pump it 150 percent, right? And they don't give a fucking shit about your like your thoughts on a crypto spaces. They're, they're going to be like, oh, oh, X coin, amazing, right? So. And it's the whole like this Web three thing is so new and unique in the the world space that you need to like take a step back as a person. And this is what I've done for like the last few months, right? Uh, to like tone it back a level, but also go deeper. It's like the whole thing for me was like this shit happened, and I was like, I'm about to have another kid, and I want my son to be born into a space that's fucking positive. It's a positive environment. It's happy. It's a happy family. And I haven't had that for three years because of COVID. And I was like, when I looked at my crypto persona and life, I was like, this shit is not what I want to bring into my home life. It was like, none of it was happy, right? Like I enjoyed being around in spaces, but I was fucking working my ass off. I was here all day, every day. I was working my ass off in my fiat job. I was on crypto six hours a day. I was staying up till 3 a.m. And then I was fucking stressed and I was like doing blockchain analytics and all this shit. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing? The only thing that pays me money is my fiat job, which feeds my family. Why am I in crypto? Right. So I took a step back and I was like, just happened to coincide with the drama. And I was like, step back. Be like, bring my son into a happy family, happy life, happy fiat job, comfortable, safe. And I was like, how fucking good at this is this? And then I'd like check Twitter and then I'd see tweets and I'd be like, what the fuck, man? Like, I thought I was like doing okay. I thought I, was, I wasn't shit talking people. I was trying to like be like, hey, do your thing, promote people, okay, bro. support people. Uh, wait, I know, bro. No, no. I, I, like, we get it. Like, we, I get it. I get it. I get it. I've already like apologized. Like, Rama, I've, I've kind of said like, like, you know, I'm not going to be Nelson Man fucking Della or anything like, but like, you know, for the good of the industry, this conversation or no, us, us, I think there's, there's a lot of people like listening in like Rama who really fucking care right now. And by the way, the call the other week, I did message like straight away, even before the uh, uh, appointment was like put in the chat. I was like, I kind of do it. Like I'm coming home from work that day. Like I can literally, it's like, there's only two days of the week I can't do that time. I'm like, oh, like I felt really bad about it. But Rama, listen to me, dude. Listen to me. No, no, dude. I feel every word. Right? I get every fucking word. All right? Me fucking heart is pierced with fucking truths. Let's see. Nah. No? I just give a fuck, like, dude. About are you and I gonna have like, well, one way or another? Yeah, it might take time. We might have to do, you know. 
a couple more fucking conversations maybe offline or whatever, right? Right. But like, are we? I think you guys forward? should be, be friends into each other's DMs. I, I think, I think, I think, I think like Rama and I, though, like again, you know, together, combined force of like brains and crack, crack factory. I don't know. I've just missed fucking shoebox, man. There's only ever been one shoebox, man. It's never been filled, has it? Couldn't be filled, could it? It was going to fill that Rama. It was going to count the toothpicks. Oh, he's gone quiet. Am I getting rugged, babe, Anton? I'm getting rugged, am I? No, we can hear you. Oh, I'm not getting rugged. He's got, oh, okay, Rama's maybe having a shit or a piss or something. Uh, wow, uh, Timmy. I mean, that was quite a, a, a long uh, dialogue there. Uh, Timmy, anything to say? You're up here as a speaker. Sorry, bro. Not to put you under pressure. What going on? I mean, the one time you asked Timmy to talk, you said <laughs> Timmy say something and he has nothing to say. <laughs> no way. That's impossible, I don't, I don't, right? I don't believe it. Timmy has nothing to say. This is absolute bullshit. Rama, B Bands is like, well, Robo earlier, do you want to say something? Do you want to say something? I literally ran in the restaurant for a piss, dude. I was like, I'm in the middle of a piss listening to B Bands. Like, Robo, you got anything to say? And I'm like, not right now. I <laughs> oh, will have, but we're not right now. Anyway. No, so yeah. I, I think, uh, you know, um, j- just in like general, right? Like, um, can I, can I, can we, can we have some positivity for fuck's sake, Rala? Yeah, can we, can we, we, go for it, man. Leave I heard, I heard, I heard there's a working group. So I heard on the grapevine that the Risby at Gelato put a, a letter out to Juno. And then that, a that few times someone spoke about that. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw you fucking straight in there saying, uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what's needed. A working group. Happy to facilitate. Like, blah. next thing we know. You've got fucking every cunt who fucking like has got an intelligent opinion about Juno involved in trying to resurrect Juno. I mean, good fucking job, team. That's all I'm gonna say. Good fucking job. Yeah. So I think um, the intention is, uh, in the short term, is like put together a group that can work together to try and put together a plan for Juno, right? Like, um, uh. I've been, I was pretty open about it. Like I work with the core team on like building evolutions and what that document, what that kind of vision entailed. I uh, did get paid for that personally, not through core one um, to do that thing. And like delivering a document is, it's nowhere near enough to like deliver a vision and execute on that vision. And uh, what I found was like that fell pretty flat across the ecosystem and the community. And you know multiple factors, right? Like um, uh, historically, Core One is like pretty uh, quiet in her approach about how they do things. Um, they're not very transparent, you know, funding props, etc. And uh, you know, Gelato put out the tweet, which kind of coincided with some messaging that I had with Core One members of like, we need to engage community, and I was like hell yeah this like a line to what i was trying to do anyway and like what putting it on blast on like hey yes let's do this thing just meant that like i could just create a telegram group bring risby in bring some core one members in that were already on telegram and make a group and there was kind of two groups in the short term one of them was like a project working group which was uh supposed to be like core project in, on juno that we're trying to deliver and build on Juno. And then the next, the second one that I had for kind of alongside it was like a, like a more official core two working group, which was a uh, segue, I guess. There's, there's like a core one and core two telegram group, which is like core one and then a bunch of like core two people who aren't official core two people. It's really weird. And most of them are inactive. There's like 26 people in there. Um, what I wanted to do was like bring in fresh blood into core two, make core two official, and then have a project working group, which was G- pardon me, gelato, rack, domaterium labs, signal, people actually building on Juno that could then talk to core one or liaise with certain core one members. What we found was like both of those groups were the same thing. So within like a few days, we just like merged them and there was just like one larger core group, working group. And uh, 
there's like incredible amount of talent in that group. So uh, like why Foundry DAO? It's like Economist, DAO, um, uh, uh, DAO structure, DAO strategy, which is valuable for Juno, incredibly valuable. Valuable, sorry. Um, Signal, don't want to dox those people, but very, very good value in like economics. Um, Domaterium Labs and Gelato with like project management and business management. And it was like all these people bring amazing skills to Juno that we're not valuing and we're not like using in the way that we could benefit Juno. Oh, how come, how come, sorry, dude, how come like a, uh... Clio, Clio Media has got like two seats. So they've got like their traditional like validator seat, but they've got RV as well, the Book of Healing. Can, can yeah, you explain so, the rationale between them getting like two slots or what? Yeah, of course. So um, I, I can explain it more than that even if you want. Um, so Gelato has like four seats, right? There, there's no like, um, there's no like seats. There's no voting power, right? Um, the, the working group is bringing in Juno projects and teams and individuals who add value to the working group to try and bring about change to Juno. So Gelato has like four members. Um, Cleomedes has two or three members. White Boundary Dow has two or three member members. Um, Avi is not actually part of Cleomedes. He was previously. He's not actively part of Cleomedes, which is where he's. Oh, I didn't from. know. That's yeah, the reason for yeah. the crowd. I didn't know. And, I didn't know. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, and and I think this is where, like, again, like the the post that we put out is like quite limited. It's like, hey, here's the people, here's the projects, here's the team, um, that we need to expand on. And I'm trying to like write up a thread about each people, each person's skills or each project skills. It takes time. Um. Avi is very, very good at certain things. Not part of Clio, previously was, right? Uh, Gelato is very good at like business management, moving fast, um, project management, uh, very good like legal side of things. Uh, there's like it's such a diverse set of skills that we didn't articulate very well in the, the core root tweet thread, which is, I think, it's hard to like announce a group without like going into too much detail that no one cares. So I think announcing the projects and the people is like very important of like, here's who's involved. And now the next step is the people in the project actually deliver something, which is the main message that we're trying to send is we don't want to like talk about it. We want to actually deliver value. We want to bring about change and implement something because Juno's talked so fucking much about, oh, we're going to do this or we want to do this or Here's how we're going to do things. The working group is about actually fucking doing things and not talking about things, which is, it's hard and it's a lot of work. Rama, Rama, I don't, Rama, <laughs> that signal's going to be like, Rama, 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 I don't want, honestly, I could listen to your silky tones all night. Listen, so do you know what's just happened? Little Gaines is doing a space with uh, White Whale. And I know you've got to go to bed, Rama. So you, if, like for everyone in the audience, Rama, you normally babysit Saturday morning when your missus goes to like the park to do like Pilates and that. Is that right? Do I not, remember not, that right? Not not tomorrow. Oh, shit. What it's day is like tomorrow? Is pl- it's almost like this was planned. Oh, wait. Shall we? Shall we just though? Listen, how funny Rama from back in the old days. Shall we just bomb in the, the games of space and everybody start emojiing? Like, what should we, like, should we do? Shall we do the fist, the, 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 the communist like fist? I don't know why that's even an emoji, but like, we need to agree on a plan. We need to all just bail in the games of space and just start emojiing the fuck out of like them and White Whale, right? All right. So, are you saying that we wrap this one up, we go into White Whale, and then we do a kick on? We all request the speakers. We all request the speakers. Let's do a takeover. Come on, let's go. I, I, we... Only if we only if we do a kick on where we continue the conversation. Of course, I'm all I'm all ears, bro. Trust me, I, I'm not going anywhere. Me, I'm I'm here for life, bro. This dude's right. been requesting. This dude's been re- pay bands. You're seeing this guy request. I know. I just don't want to get spammed. I don't want to fuck up the space and then all this freaking there. weird spam. Ross, send me a message. Send me a DM. Never if you want to get up here, send me a DM, bro. 
Wow, Netadel got spammed the other day and they just carried on. They had like fucking 896 fucking tweets in this. Like, it was just the line, you know, when the nest goes to the line, there's no dots like that. And it was a, it was a skinny line. A fat line is quite a few. A skinny line is a lot. Man, they carried on. They just regardless, but oh, they went on for hours. Yeah, anyway. that was like clickbait. <laughs> we oh, yeah. got stuff on our feed. Check it out. <laughs> oh, I kind of be doing that. I had to leave straight away. I kind of be seeing prolapses in the nest. I mean, it's ridiculous. I think, though, we should all just jump in and start doing emojis to represent gains. Like, an, I mean, white whale class, but like gains is better. Rama, I'll be seeing you on the dark side. I hope, like, bro, this has been a really fucking, really good and important talk. Like, really good, my man. <laughs> all I have to say. Is that I love both of you and I'm so happy you guys are talking. And now I can sleep a lot better at night that this has happened. Thanks, guys. Ask them, ask them how many toothpicks are on the floor. Just ask them how many toothpicks are on the floor, right? He can only drive on Wednesdays, right? Another space after the after games are actually. Yes. yes let's go. Uh, I'm coming down uh, right FM and let's go and emoji the light out of them. Guys, uh, Cosmos Spaces, White Whale, let's go. Motherfucker screaming out loud, looking for mercy before they find themselves working a corner down in Jersey. What could be worse? Misrepresenting the first come first serve. Mentality stuck in the burbs. I'll be numbing up first before discovering what works and we'll see what other kinds of trash is under the dirt. We rape them under the earth. Sit and wonder about the worth and plate. Ring around the rosy while the Thunder is served. Motherfuckers walking around here looking faceless. Trying to make a living selling friendship bracelets. Dead ends dragging out the max amount of payments. Red down days got them acting all bankless. Yo fam, what? Check these token knocks. They probing this bear, flexing broken honest. I had to lay my soul down. I'm just roasting knotters. And then to end a long day, 11 bowls of chronic. Never known the politic. I was born to frolic. It's been my policy to pollinate all over the plot. We got a lot of apologists jumping in at the top. We like to measure their velocity before they hit rock bottom over impossible loss it's all moss and i'm liking the odds bond due in the morning forming mycological bonds click the cap though the road is highly involved flip a coin diary fall motherfuckers screaming out loud looking for mercy before they find themselves working a corner down in jersey what could be worse misrepresenting the first come first serve mentality stuck in the burbs i'll be numbing up first before discovering what works and we'll see what other kinds of treasures under the dirt we rape them under the earth Sit and wonder about the worth and play Ring around the rosy while the thunder is served Trying to figure out the max amount of dinner lace Stacked and non-toxic Just to get a better place Smacking on the hostage Like the shit is way for keeps Clowns white knight and all these Maybelines They call it implausible When model after model keeps on Ripping off the coat and going full throttle beats Tearing apart your community All these low hanging fruits Bearing zero liquidity Got a planet in reach Coming standard to each I'm on the back ten stargazing after the sea Commanding all the management to grab a few seats And then we'll round up the beasts and send a messenger east Y'all better sign a release when I'm bumping these beats Hands up if I got motherfuckers drumming the streets Yo, we got a few dubs, we got a couple defeats And if you're coming for the king, you better have some of each Motherfuckers fuckers screaming out loud, looking for mercy Before they find themselves working a corner down in Jersey What could be worse? Misrepresenting the first come first serve Mentality stuck in the verbs I'll be numbing up first before discovering what works And we'll see what other kinds of treasures under the dirt We rape him under the earth Say and wonder about the worth and play Ring around the rosy while the thunder is served
Hey man, I'm just uh, DMing, this, DMing this to a few people. Signal, all right? I'll be I'll be with you in a minute, matey. Oh, don't of worry course, about man. that. Oh, don't worry about two, me. Two minutes, man. We'll get the crew in. Get as many as we can in. Do you? I'm, I'll I'll be dropping the beginning, mate. I'll be dropping the beginning because if I don't, then Finn's only going to use fucking his pirate voice to fucking do one on the Spotify and iTunes uh, fucking recording. So if I don't do a beginning, Finn will do it. So I'm trying to front run him, you see. But no, uh, I I just, that you don't want Finn to do anything. I've got a few more people to DM, bro, <laughs> and then uh, I'll be with you a lot. All right. Do you do you need anyone? Do you need a co-host today, or are you good for host like just for so you don't get rugged? No, we should do, mate. He, well, I'm sure have bands coming in. She should be putting the kid on the bus, I think, right now. Perfect. But I don't know if Bruce is going to... I hope Bruce is going to join us. I'm just uh, sending him a quick DM, maybe. But I'll be with you guys in, in a split second, all right? I really want Bruce back. I really want Bruce back. He's in love and he's having to work. So I'm like, I'm distraught without we wingman, you know? Are you saying you need a Bruce replacement? Temporarily? You need a, you need a temp Bruce? Temple. Well, I've got yeah. Listen, I mean, yes, mate, I do. But I've got, I have got your woman. But you know what it's like, bro, right? Like uh, sisters, 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 and brothers. No matter what we say, like they do, the the the, the kind of bounce and the the way you know. B bands is the number one without a shadow of a doubt. Like without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah. I just I'm, I'm missing I'm missing Brucey man. I'm missing me uh, Arnie me Arnie Alpha. You know what I mean? That's what I'm missing. You're, you're missing the. I won't do it. I don't have the gumption. I'm missing the Arnie Alpha, mate. I, I really am, like... Anyway, mate, you sound... I mean, you've been on for hours today with... Uh, we'll get this one up the way with quickly. You've been on hours with today with Ghost, right? Fucking hours and hours, yeah. I don't, do I sound... I don't sound bad, right? No, 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 mate. You don't. You don't. Do I sound put together? You if sound, I sound, like, drunk, let me know. No, uh, you sound... T- like, I'll tell you what you sound. You sound... Yeah, like, I, is tired the right word? Do you know when you're just like... Oh, like, sit in your comfy chair and you, like, take a big <laughs> sigh out and you're like... Oh. You mean boring. I sound boring. Is what you mean. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you were going yeah. for... I mean, you were going for serious hours today. Hey, oh, was, that, it, was that on the back? Accident. But was that on the back of that Senor Riley's fucking space like that like someone did a four hour space about adam i heard stories about jake fucking shouting or something at the top mm. of his voice like i wasn't on that space i was working i did, I did a brand new workshop the day signal so like i was really fucking hyped yeah. and busy as fuck and like today was go 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 for me like so i, I i'm i'm wrapping a project that's led by um the singapore branch of our company and we're like done next week, so I, I've just been doing that. So I've been just working on like fucking Singapore time. The the last, so I'm all discombobulated. You know what I mean? I'm like half local, half Singapore. Then it's like very hard because it's like late night here. So you like you do when you work, and you're like, hey, maybe I'll pour myself a drink while I'm like editing this document. You know what I mean? So uh, I ended up uh, I ended up having a couple of drinks. Uh, by the time it's 6 a.m. here and then I go to sleep and then wake up at noon. You know what I mean? Mate, a couple of cheeky sherbets. A couple of cheeky sherbets when you're doing night shift never hurt anybody, right? That's, that's, the, that's the status you find me in here. Uh, I want to talk to you about my dogs. Not here, but... Well, maybe later. If you want to throw to something, I got some dog talk later, so... Okay, mate. Well, I mean, we, I'm not going to say we're going to try and keep it on point. Uh, um, I did send you a co host, by the way, dude, just in case I do get rogue, right? Ah, oh, there you go. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to say we're going to keep it focused because there is a lot of fucking shit talking. There's a lot of stuff being going on. Juno's got this new uh, working team. I think it's quite an interesting little uh, sound bite this week. But I mean, we'll, we'll, well, how many have we got? Six? All right, tell you what. We'll, we'll keep it going a little bit until the room fills up and then Finn can just cut this shit, which he always does anyway. 